Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Ah, it's not on. I should just go away, right? All right. <laughs> See you later. Hello? Hello, hello, Hel hello. Uh, how loud is this? Um, hmm. We could probably go a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up. Maybe that. Yeah. Maybe a little, a little bit up, a little bit up, like there. That that's probably fine. I don't know. Uh, okay, 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 all right, mm-hmm, mm. I'm gonna eat some, uh, cinnamon rolls, how does that sound, chat, hmm? Oh, I need to, I need to set up. Hmm. I can't see shit. Oh, it's so dark in here. Um, we can turn the gate on. Do like, uh, like here. Can we get... check? I'm trying to see where this gate is taking effect. Oh, that's probably okay. It does some, some ducking, but not too much. Um, all the other settings look fine. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's not like I stream enough to uh to know, you know. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I love this shit. Fucking cinnamon rolls, man. How's chat doing today? Chat's very quiet. Why is chat so quiet today? Huh. <sighs> Okay. You didn't ping anyone? Oh, fuck you. <clears throat> there you go. Jesus. That's, uh, that's your fault. Um, you'll get a, a three-week ban for that. <sighs> Server setup, notifications, go live text at everyone. Save. There we go. Now that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Chad's hands are busy doing what? What is chat doing today? Dude, this fucking boom arm, man. Why does it do this? Why does it automatically go up? God damn it. 
Oh, I need to set up a full screen um camera view. Uh what do I want? I want input output NDI and alerts. Oh, I need to move alerts up actually. There we go. Alerts, input, output, NDI, copy, paste, this, transform, fit to screen. Ah, uh -huh. did that work? Oh my God, I need to shave my head. It looks like shit. Huh. <sighs> Uh, how many of you are balding, you fucking nerds? Hey, <laughs> I like that thirsty Ren Resnor. Hey, big fan of A. Little four one action. Um, but yeah, I think this camera works. I have the camera over. Uh. It's streaming using NDI. NDI seems to just work really well. But I have no idea. Uh, at 4K, it doesn't seem to work. It seems like at every, like, five seconds, the quality drops off. So this is only 1080p. But I think the camera quality should be fine. But yeah, we're going to do uh, an audio sync check. Ready, chat? Clap. There you go. <laughs> audio is a bit out of sync is audio a header behind point three so I go to audio input prop uh Audio input, advanced, offset, 300, close. All right, chat, you ready? Whoops. There you go, try that one, fuckos. Did we go the wrong way? Nice, perfect. Oh, you got fucking wrecked. I think naturally that desyncs over time. Probably something running at 59.94 and something else running at 60. You know, the classic. It's really close now. Okay, I'll give it another 25 millis, you fucko. There you go. <clears throat> One more clap. <clears throat> but yeah, that'll probably desync with time. I don't know. That's just how cameras... And whenever you send shit over the network, it seems like it just randomly desyncs everything for some reason. It's like codecs don't have timestamps or something. But obviously, you know, obviously... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Dude, this fucking mic stand has always sucked. I don't even know what the problem is. Is, is the spring too strong? Is there like an adjustment on that? I don't know. I'm not enjoying this ASMR session. I don't like the...
How's everyone uh, doing today? Is everyone having a nice day? So, your code today has looked really good. I'm very proud of you. Your performance has been fantastic, and I am uh, going to be bringing this up with your boss to potentially get you a promotion. The uh, team lead said that the code that you've been producing has been some of the best they have ever seen. There you go. Is that what you want? Is that the chat, the content you want, chat? <sighs> I've been writing shell scripts today. <sighs> shell scripts are like glue, dude. They're sticky and they get everywhere and it's gross. I hate it. <sighs> uh, has everyone else been good today? Because writing shell scripts honestly isn't good. I don't know if... I don't know if... I don't know if that's the sort of behavior that I want to promote on this stream. <sighs> the link for using in... And Vuk is not working anymore. Any idea why? Uh, mm, uh, let me find my fucking pinned messages. Uh, HLS three. Uh, uh, what? Uh, how many encodings do I have? Are they zero indexed? Try two instead of three. I don't know. I think I had more encodings before, but I was having uh, issues with it ingesting that many encoderinos. So, let's see. Uh, MPV, this changed the 3 to a 2, and that works just fine. Really, that wasn't that hard to debug. Uh, I don't know. I kind of would expect anyone who can uh, watch my stream would uh, be smart enough to figure that one out but uh you know sometimes there's just not nothing you can do because you know sometimes people are just not the brightest bulbs in the box <sighs> <sighs> have you been following casey's computer in hands nope no idea what that is and maybe i'll go a smidge down on volume i don't know so we have to fuzz your stream now? No, you just have to use ba basic common sense, you know. But yeah, here is... Where's the link? Cop, 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 copy text. That. There you go. See? See? You're all very smart, chat. Um, 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 um. What else? And let me let me do some administration here. Ninety six percent healthy stream. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, just probably uh, user errors. Okay, chat. So today we're gonna be parsing damage numbers through screen scraping. Doesn't that sound really fun? Yay! Can't wait to do that. Uh, but yeah, you see these damage numbers that go up every once in a while? I want to find them and read them on the screen. And it should be really easy because there's a bitmap font in this, right? So that will make it easy. Uh, because we should be able to just search directly for pixels of a specific color, question mark? Um, oh, you can't see it? Uh, well, yeah. There you go. That was the that was the test 
for chat and you pa you pass the test you're gonna get um here's here's the thing we don't actually have any positions open right now for the role you're looking for but what we could do is we could give you the um let's see if this dude's gonna do any dumb shit here sometimes they do um so we don't have the position that you're looking for so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you in a trial position where we want to give you the ability to do all of those things that that role entails and uh, we can't get you the title on paper, obviously, because that role is not available right now. Um, but what we can do is we could uh, give you a, a one-time $500 bonus, and then we'll put you in the trial role where you can do all of all of the work of that role. And it will give you an opportunity to uh, basically when that slot opens up, we'll be able to just instantly transfer that over to you. Does that sound good, chat? Does that sound like a good deal? <laughs> okay, so... Um, is this a paid or unpaid trial? Oh no, you you'll get the five hundred dollar bonus. No, 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 no. You can you can get that. We could give you an opportunity to contact us later for a trial position for a limited time as an unpaid internship. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, right? Like, we're really just here for you. Um, even though we don't have that position available, we will bend over just for you because we like you so much um and we'll give you specifically you the ability to do this role without actually needing the title and and having all of that the burden that comes with that sort of a position of such a heavy weight but we'll give you the opportunity to kind of learn and grow in that role by by experiencing that role Fetty auth doesn't work? I don't know. I was able to auth. I auth. Yeah. Uh, but I used uh, f Fleeb auth or whatever. India auth. I don't know how Fetty auth works. Maybe you're just... Uh, yeah, it might just be your server. Um, I don't know. Oh. Uh. So once this ring gets used up, it'll be a lot easier. So basically, you see these like red damage numbers that pop up. Uh, all I want to do, I, I ideally would like to have some way of knowing the amount of damage that I am doing. It is critically important to uh, training in this game. You need to get blood hits a certain frequency. You basically want to do as little damage as possible so you're not killing these mobs and having to constantly switch targets. But you also... Uh, need to be getting blood hits on this server. It's looking like every 15 attacks. Um, that's not actually how the game is supposed to work, even though this server says that all they care about is the authenticity and the accuracy. Uh, yeah, it's really... It has a bunch of glaring issues with accuracy, um, but unfortunately, the owner of the server is kind of full of himself. <laughs> No, like, insult to him. Like, I, I don't know. You do you. It's just a personality thing. Uh, but he's pretty convinced that literally everything is identical and perfect and 100% modeled after the old game. Well, I have a 7.7 .7 server. So does he. Like, he, it's not like I have something special that he doesn't have. I have a 7.7 .7 server that is leaked. This is a 7.4 server. I can run the 7.7 .7 server... And literally connect with the client and resume exactly how this game behaved in 2005. Obviously, this is a slightly older version of the game this server is. Um, and that affects some, like, spawn uh, mechanics and stuff. But damage and monster uh, parameters and defense and armor and, and damage has not changed uh, since 7.4. And this server is just so... Like, I don't even have to statistically figure out this server is wrong. I can literally, like, after 
two minutes of gathering 10 data points know that this server is inaccurate for those things. Um, so what I'd like to do is start collecting more statistical things and understand why it feels like this server plays so bad. It feels like the damage is not consistently going out like on the same timings. Um, and I'd like to be able to compare and contrast with other versions of the game. And the reason that I'm not doing memory editing for this is that from memory editing, that's actually a really hard thing to get, right? Because it's just going to be a temporary, like, number that shows up over their head, probably allocated. It allocates probably like a text object, and it exists for a short amount of time. From the perspective of the server, from, like, client to server traffic, this protocol is designed that when that, like, damage number shows up over a monster, it doesn't say that, like, this monster took damage, this is the amount of damage, display this number. It actually says, draw a number animation on this tile. So there's nothing protocol-wise actually linking the damage to the monster or anything like that. So I'm just kind of of the opinion that I'd rather just have a screen scraper because each, each server now makes their own client. So this client is an open source client that servers will modify and it's always going to be on some random build or fork of that there's paid versions where people like maintain it and sell it with certain updates and features it's it's a pretty big market where effectively every server is going to have a slightly different client and i'd like to be able to do these sorts of like basic uh damage statistics and like formula scraping stuff just from the fucking screen i don't want to constantly have to be porting like memory editing stuff, bypassing anti-cheats, potentially getting banned and stuff because I'm not actually trying to cheat. Like I have no intention of ever cheating on a server like this, but I do want to take advantage of like statistical information of my training efficiencies and how much damage I'm taking and just random stuff like that. Um, so I don't really want to be in the client. I just want to be capturing the screen processing stuff on that and every version of this client that i've ever seen always use the official fonts that were used in the game the ones that you're seeing now they're bitmap bitmap fonts so we should be able to literally write rules to to parse and and read them on the screen it's it's kind of cool even the old client the 7.4 client we can probably do the same thing so we could gather statistics using the exact same tool in case we have any errors or we miss things we can do like very apples to apples comparisons between these clients. So yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go blow my nose. I don't know why. Um, and I'll be right back and put on some socks. My feet are cold. Okay, all right. Did everyone hear that explanation I went through? Because uh, otherwise we'll hop into the meat of it. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, um, this client really doesn't like sway. Oh, even like that was probably uh, risky. I'm going to turn off. How do I turn off on sway? <sighs> um... I think there's a way I uh, can fig to turn off the like, I don't want, I don't want going to windows. Uh, when I switch workspaces, I don't want it to snap my mouse to the screen. Um,
Highest leader. I don't know this guy. I don't know. It's kind of rare for someone like to come up and ask questions. Um, I feel like there's a way and sway to turn off. Um, where it goes to the monitors. Basically, this client. If I do like workspace switches, it triggers an auto ban, and I think it's because the client is um kind of expecting the mouse to like come in and out of the screen and stuff so i really want to minimize the frequency that i have like the cursor jumping around and so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna stash this client off screen because on stream i need to be able to use workspaces but i don't want to accidentally have my mouse teleport to this game uh when i switch to that workspace um yeah i know that's kind of weird but that is uh, just, I don't know, the way they've done stuff. So there is... A mouse. Man, why are there so many people here? This is really weird. I hope they're not, like, doing some shit. Uh, who's that guy who came by? GNZ, we'll add him. Keep an eye on him. Uh, let's just do that. Stream snipers. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, follows focus mouse. If said to yes, moving your mouse over a window will focus that. Yep, that's what I want. Oh, I could also probably turn some of that off. Um, follows focus mouse. Uh, focus on window activation. Focus wrapping. I don't think those are it. But the fact that I can configure those would actually make workspaces probably work. Um... But maybe, maybe still not even that. The the owner of the server kind of recommended that I'm really careful with how often the window pops up and back. So, God, I swear there's a way that you can turn off the the mouse teleporting stuff, mouse warping. If output is specified, mouse will be moved to new outputs if you move focus between them. Uh, mouse warping and then none. And then where do I put that? Just anywhere in config? Or is that, like, display? Uh, mouse warping, none. Reload my config. Okay, so now if I go to, like, eight, my focus moves up there. Okay, okay, yeah. That did it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stash some windows over here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And we're going to set up a slightly better thing. So I'm going to move this up. We'll move that to eight and we'll move this to seven and now we should have one through six available here for this stream okay so and that should be good all right so, uh, let's, how the fuck do I change fonts? Uh, I'm sway, uh, uh, okay. Um, font. That's 
foot. Oh, I think I'm doing foot configurations at the system level. Uh, XGG, foot, nope, okay. Config, foot. Um, Terminus. What's a Terminus 14 type beat? I think that's a pretty good type beat. We'll go with that, chat. All right, you'll get Terminus 14. Uh, this is a custom Warcraft 3 map. Isn't everything a custom Warcraft 3 map? Could you do custom network stuff in Warcraft 3? Um, okay, um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Uh, ba -ba -ba. but yeah, how's everyone doing? Uh, we got these set up. They should be good. Um, no, I don't need this. Um, uh, so. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to just go and start with grabbing some screen scraping screen scrapes. Uh, let's go see what we can do here. Any ideas on finding or noticing a rootkit on a device surrounded by taps? Oh. I cannot speak to non-nation state shit. So there's probably a bunch of techniques for like common stuff. But if you are specifically being targeted by like a funded organization, uh, you're probably fucked. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, if it's like common stuff, I, I don't I don't do malware stuff. I have no idea how malware actually works. Looks like the game is frozen. The uh, game is on another screen. Are you are you seeing it? Oh oh oh! I think I see what happened here. I think I have to repick my screen capture. Because it's monitor-based, but when I moved that window, it got, like, mad or something. Okay. I'll have to remember that workspace changes can cause that to lose its monitor, I guess? But, uh, yeah, what if I go to 2? No, that's fine. It seems like when I moved that window, it followed it. Um... Notice that SSH takes 0.05 seconds longer than normal to start up. Yeah. That's uh da 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 da. That's a reference to ah. Uh, what the fuck was that? The recent like backdoor in XZ. <laughs> okay. Um 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 Uh, let's go here. Um, and we'll do ice chisel. Uh, 
Okay. So I'm going to be using XCAP. I searched for capture and that seemed like the most popular one on, uh, on Rust. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Oops. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, sophisticated multi-year nation state attack versus Debian preview tester. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think they had their neck beards on the, uh, on the case to really, uh, to really test that one out. <laughs> Oh, we got Quizzical Bahaba here authenticated. I'm going to guess that's Geek Pirate. I'm going to guess it is. I don't know why I'm going to assume that it is, but I'm going to assume that it is. How we doing, SE Linux? SE Linux is a fucking banger. I don't think I could go back. Uh, MLS does suck ass. I do think that I will try something other than MLS in the future. Uh, like basically making compartments via like types and switching between types to go to the different levels and just having like a superset of the roles. Uh, because applications really, really, really do not like when they drop files and like cache files or temporary files and they are not accessible but there so like editors will do this like basically anything that drops like a temporary file of file or config file or anything that they touch on disk mls becomes a big problem because if i have neovim open at s2 and open at s0 they're both fighting for the same like you know, undo files and history files and bash is fighting for the same history file and pseudo is fighting for the same history file and like everything's fighting over these files. So MLS is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, it's interesting. Gonna go check on my Dolce de Leche. <laughs> You gotta clean your fucking pot, dude. Uh, is dude killing my fucking mobs? No. Okay. Any reasonably configured LSM is probably a pain in the ass. Yeah, so it's really... Uh, the biggest issue is user interaction like seriously um for like set and forget things like file servers or um like web servers or stuff like that i mean you just write your configuration once and you're done forever but users change stuff like i'll change the apps like today i'm running obs where i haven't run obs for a couple months so i have to make sure all of that stuff works correct um i want to train together um, Um, Uh, 
Okay. Um. Do you ever goof around with game dev? No. The last game dev I did, I was a, a young, a young boy. Um, and I did like game maker stuff, like we we all did. Um, but I don't know, game dev just doesn't really interest me. I think game engine dev could be pretty fun. So let's see, this should work. All right, nice. So uh, this is just the example XCAP thing that I just stole from XCAP. If you go to the docs, this is just what you get. Um, um. Uh, but yeah, don't really do, uh, game dev. You gonna do OCR? No. I'm gonna do, like, sub-image searching for a bitmap font. So it's gonna be quite a bit different, in my opinion. I don't really know what it will be like. Um... Uh... Sorry, talking to this guy in Tibby who wants to train. Um. Okay, yeah, so I can do window capture here. And this will allow me to kind of scrape the damage that I'm dealing. Hopefully, I don't know only why only one window shows up. And luckily, it is the one window I care about. Is there some filter here? Is minimized, is maximized. Uh, from my interpretation, they should just find all windows. Is it because that's on X? Because I'm on Sway, but maybe that's not a native window. Ever thought about working for SpaceX? No, nah, I don't really like space. Not really my thing. I'm gonna, um, this dude wants to train with me. And I think it's a good opportunity to get to know this guy. Uh, so we're gonna travel there quick. It's going to take a few minutes. Uh, uh, okay. So we got to push our food down there. Do you know docs? Where would it be 625? Australia? Oops. Near Northwest. But yeah, so we're just gonna go do some traveling. We're gonna meet up with this dude. 
Do you still make doors for Boeing? Uh, how do you deal with food? Uh, I kick some hams. Boop. I'll wait for you at depot. Okay, cool. So where would it be 6 a.m.? Australia? But no, I have been, it, it, honestly, the main reason I'm streaming today is because I've been working in my garage, I think four days in a row now, like non-fucking-stop. Um, oh, whoop. Okay, good to know that GNZ didn't try and contest this. Move up. But yeah, I've been working out in the garage like every day and I'm, I'm so fucking sore. <laughs> I'm so fucking sore. I've been out there probably like eight hours a day. Doop. Uh... Joop. I do love the way that you send mail in this game. It's so fucking cool to, like, kick stuff with parcels and shit. Oops. There we go. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, and he has fish. Okay, no fishing rod. I'd have that in Edron then. Okay, then we'll go Edron to uh, Venor. What are you building? I'm writing. A, I'm gonna write a tool that's gonna allow me to scrape damage numbers from this game. Uh. This dude's one of the, I think he's like the top skilled dude on the server. Um, so when he reached out and wanted to train, I was like, fuck yeah. Because obviously he knows what he's doing. Um, and also, it's good to build rapport with people like this because they're competition. And you don't want your competition to become an enemy, right? Like, it's okay to have some healthy competition. But, like, yeah. I don't know. I like competition, but I don't want someone to, like, try and kill me or some shit or harass me uh, to try and get control. What are you building? Um, wait, was that in reference to the garage? I'm rebuilding a 1943 Monarch Tendley lathe, and I'm getting... Really close. That's why I've been spending a lot of time on it. Well, I'm really close to getting the flats done. But once the flats are done, then I can focus on the inverted Vs. But it is really close. Like, it's... 
there's technically one corner that's like 20 micron low but it's under the headstock and i could scrape the headstock in with respect to it rather than doing the whole thing i really want to make the whole thing a one consistent flat but i think legitimately it would add another like 100 hours to really get nothing other than now like the whole thing is flat which is nice for like being able to trust the entire surface is just one flat plane is kind of nice than remembering like oh yeah there's one low spot in the back so make sure that you have a high spot on the headstock so it's correct or whatever right not that it really matters because the headstock is just relative to the spindle so it's just it really doesn't matter it's not in a place that technically matters um but i'm gonna do some like heavy passes to see uh i've got a couple other like worn out spots right now i'm getting it in the same plane as the other bed uh so i might do some heavy passes and see how quickly i can maybe take that last like 20 micron off but it might take a really long time if i can do it in like 20 hours i'll probably just make the whole thing flat but yeah um, but, yeah, it's been, like, pretty cool. Um, I got a die grinder. I've been, I was hand scraping it. Um, I bought a power scraper for this project, but the power scraper just skates off of it like glass. So there's just, it's so pointless. The, the power scraper just doesn't work for this. Like, you get such a bad finish. Um, the hardness is also inconsistent. So, like, some spots are way harder than others. And with the power scraper, you're going to be putting a lot of force on there. And then you move off of the space that's really hard when you're putting a lot of down force on it. And now you hit a soft spot and you put a big gouge in it. So, it really wasn't practical. Hand scraping was working just fine. Although, you had to be aware of where the hard spots are. So, you put more force into it to keep it consistent. But the die grinder fucks. It works so well. Like, it has... I'd say there's no downsides. I was initially concerned about the finish and, like, could I get a really good finish on it? And the, the answer is yes. I would say actually better than scraping. I don't know if that's the case for actual, like, hand scraping. I would imagine not. There's a reason people use scrapers. But for this hardened surface that has inconsistent, like, hard spots... I got so much more consistency, so much more control. The biggest thing, and the reason I went to this die grinder, is for the inverted Vs. Because the... I can make do with the... Um, I can make do with the... Uh, uh, fucking... Flats by hand scraping. But the Vs I can't. The amount of force that I need to put on the scraper to get a good mark on it is so high and since the inverted v's are at a 45 and it's not like i can tilt the lathe i mean like in theory i can but in practice i can't really do that uh, we're gonna drop um i'm gonna drop these we shouldn't need any of my field runes we're gonna take a hatchet so we have a extra weapon and we'll just keep our healing runes um, do I need a machete? Um, wonder if you could harden the red. Everything's extremely hard. You mean like reharden those spots? Um, I don't want to. Um, just some lower shields. Let's see. God. Let's go hi venor yes um yeah so i don't want to do any heat treatment of the lathe first of all i actually want it to be soft like the hardened bed is really cool 
Um, and it's one of the interesting features of that specific lathe. However, since I'm such a light user and I'm always going to keep every oil topped up and everything just babied, um, I would prefer it to not be hardened. So I would be able to basically scrape it into tolerance way easier. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see what I have for shields. So we're going to drop my valuable shit. And we're going to go buy like a garbage set. Um, um, How's the S line coming along? I did actually some dev on it. Scale. Okay, so these guys are like hitting hard. That's interesting. Hi. Um. Let's get a uh, wooden shield. Yes. Let's get studded legs. Okay. Leather legs. Legs. Armor. Just chain and brass? Are you serious? There's a fucking scam. Is there anywhere in Edron I can buy this shit? Or in Venor? Uh... Items, legs. Just I want some like cheap shit. That's all I want. Just some trash. Like honestly, chain legs are fine. Hi, chain legs. Oh, you fucking bitch! You lied to me. You ain't selling shit. Eldo, where the fuck is Eldo? He's upstairs? What? No. Is he downstairs? Uh, wait, 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 wait. He's here. Where's that? Like up here. All right, different spot, different spot. Um, I got a wooden shield. And I know this is boring. You should share your uh, Spotify playlist. It's just like random shuffle from YouTube. How many puppy things have you purchased? A bunch. I am really excited. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the lathe. But yeah, the... Um, basically, I'm really happy with this new strategy. I think... Uh, hi. Leather armor. Yes. High. Studded legs. Yes. Studded helmet. Oh. There we go. Okay, we've got, like, some random fucking armor situation going on here. Stream quality isn't perfect. Yeah, you're you're on the wrong wrong stream, bro. Yeah, I don't have the source stream as the default one because I think it can have more issues. Although I switched to like really 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 basic encoding settings, um, and like CBR instead of EBR. Um. Okay. So how many fish can I take with me? I can take maybe like forty fish. Uh, okay.
So this guy's Polish. I don't know anything in, in Poland. Oh, this spot. Oh, okay. And then bugs. Okay. Should be able to grab one just down here, right? Oh, I actually don't know where the spawns are. I was defending his bug. I like this spot. This is good. It's cute. Where does this guy want to go? What's your Yeah, what's this spot? I see. Okay. And then... Yeah, I don't think... There. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how he wants to do this. I don't really care. Like, there's a million ways to do this. One, two, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. on balance. Okay, I'm taking too much. Should be regening one per th four seconds, I think. Full at. Uh, what is Zeznia online game? Why does it look just like Tibia? A lot of them will just rename stuff. 
Um, yeah, I think this should be fine. It's kind of guild. No. Uh, there aren't forks of anything tibia related built from the ground up. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. But yeah, this is just training. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to optimize for damage dealt and just uh i want to do the least amount of damage while getting a blood hit at least every 15 attacks so it's kind of an interesting optimization problem this guy seems to want to hit pretty hard which is i mean if you're going for absolute optimal efficiency sure um but it might be a little spooky so we'll see I am Desu. I don't. I don't know if I. I don't know if I trust you. You haven't backseated enough yet. <sighs> okay. Um. Make sure I'm full. We're gonna drop off. Fuck. Um. Grab this and. Plate armor, 120. I can drop BP that. Okay, so now I should be able to tune the damage I take a little bit more. No, I am Desu? No, you're Geek Pirate, obviously. I'm okay. Now I'm starting to think that there's some fakes on the stream. See, I am Desu. No, okay. Wait, what's the whole point of this all shit if it doesn't do anything? <laughs> all right. Do some fish in here. I am Desu and I am in meeting. Okay. I'm. No nickname authentication, right? Yeah, it's a little weird. Skip. We'll start with a steel helmet, and then we should be able to do a lot of permutations now. So we should be good. And let's get some fish popping in here. And we'll be hooked on phonics. But yeah, this is this is fishing in the game. It's exhilarating. I like setting it down actually. It makes it a little easier to throw it. We need Twitch or Discord auth. Oh, that'd be interesting. Are those seriously the first fish I got? It's fucking nuts if that's the case. 
But yeah, now that I'm set up, I can train with this dude. Unfortunately, it's kind of a weird spot, so I'm going to have to, like, kind of go out of my way to come here. But whatever. It, it's close to the boat, so it's pretty easy to access. But the city that I go to to train is in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where are we at? 22 fish. Uh, all right. And yeah, I fish in a pattern. So I know what I fished. Yeah, I, I do too, but I'm fucking lazy right now. I just wanted something. It's, it's really hard once you have, um, once you're full cap, it's hard to see when you're getting fish, right? Cause they're just going below you. And since I don't know. Uh, if I'm getting fish, it's it's kind of hard to know when I've hit a tile or not. But that should be a decent amount of fish for now. I'm blocked from alt.rs? What the fuck did you do? Um, okay. He's got his rat coming in. Oh, ooh, cave rat. Get, oh, spoopy. Wall him in. Yup, push him. Oh, look at this guy. Meep. Okay, and then we're going to whack this dude. I'm going to smack him in the face. Okay. Uh, six, four, two, one, one, fourteen. Uh, six, four, so ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, fourteen death. So let's see, he's doing a little bit of damage more than I want. Okay, I could go, uh, I wanna put on two more armor, I think. Which means, I don't know. I, I think he's balancing okay. We'll keep our eye on it. Uh, okay. Um, what, are, what are these fucking URLs? Uh, don't click URLs. Did we just ban this guy? Who the fuck is this? I don't even know how. Oh. Um. I'm cutting in and out. Okay, I'll just turn off the ducking then. There you go. Now it won't do that at all. Right? Oh, shit. Was that the wrong knob? Yep, it was the wrong knob. Oh, no. I hit the wrong knob, chat. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Well, then I'll put that back on.
Um, <laughs> you were pretending to be DDoSed. Wow. Cool. That's really cool, dude. Okay. He's doing some good damage. Yeah, he's he's fishing like a smart guy. He seems to know the way. Uh, yeah, once we find the balance here, I just need to make sure I don't die or he doesn't die. But I think both of us kind of know what we're doing. So... All right, 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 all right. Okay, so I have no idea how this only finds Shade Cores. I think it's because Shade Cores is on X11, and maybe since I have X Wayland enabled, this is using X11 instead of Wayland. I don't know if I have to, like, specifically pick one mode or the other. Um, This might just be a little too much damage. I'm going to put on just a bit more armor. So I'm at four. So I'm going to go... If I take this off and put this on, that's neutral. And then... Uh, take this off. Put this on. So that's one more armor. We'll keep an eye on this. But yeah, just adjusting damage there. Okay. Um yeah, so let's figure out how X cap works, chat. How does how does that sound? Uh docs.rs X cap. X cap. He did too. Perfect. And then I can do, I might still have to put on more, um, X cap. Here's the X cap docs. We'll slide this in here. We'll slide this in here. We'll slide this in here. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I might put one more armor on here. Actually like two more. Yeah, I need I need more. Um So, I'm going to go take off 3 put on 6. Uh so I'm going to take off 4 and put on this. Now I have 16. And I started added one more. Ah, oh, this guy hits fucking hard. Shit. But now I can add individual armor very easy. So I'll just keep adding some more and more. Until we're doing a safe amount of damage. Just gotta make sure that I'm staying full. Um, but yeah, this is why I want to figure out formulas. I want to be able to do these simulations. Why is there a Chinese character in the last print? Because uh, that's what I copied and pasted from the from the site. God damn it, dude! I gotta put on even more armor. This guy just trucks me, dude. Okay, so, I mean, I don't really care about the Wayland stuff, I guess. I'd like all the windows to show up. So, for each window in Window All. Yeah, and that just does... Just does that. So, um... Create.io Screen... 
capture. Move to X cap. Yeah, like this guy said move to X cap. X cap, cross platform, X11 and Wayland. But why am I only seeing... Oh, there's... Wait, so... It supports X11 and Wayland, but doesn't support anything on X on Wayland? Okay. Well, luckily, uh, X will be fine here. <laughs> so that's easy. Uh, okay. Thank God we don't need that. Uh, we got pretty lucky there. So we should be able to screen capture. That will be screen capturing to a file. And now what we need to do is we need to start parsing this image. So uh, what does this produce? Uh, Image.save. I'm gonna turn up the music for myself. I don't know if it'll turn it up for you guys. Um, pop, pop, pop. I put the mic in a slightly different spot. I think I bias towards looking to the right instead of the left, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, X cap. We got Windows, and then we did a capture image on a window. Um, capture image that gave us an RGBA image. Okay, so we have an RGBA image here. So we're gonna parse all of this out. And see what we have. We don't need to normalize this shit. We don't need save. Let's just capture the image. Um, uh, uh, let shade is equal to window dot windows dot find an X I'm putting on a little bit more armor uh, X dot what is this a window dot app name or title Find a window where the title is equal to shade cores. Could not find shade cores. Window. Shade is equal to that. And then window all dot expect could not iterate windows oh you son of a bitch dot iter dot iter dot find so we're searching through all the windows we're gonna find the one that we want and that seems to work ah fuck i did you table lux like an idiot fucking i'm just gonna Change that binding, I guess, to Exura. Oh. Um, boo -boo -boo -boo. <laughs> much cross platform. Yeah, isn't that kind of crazy? They say it works on all those things, but then it like doesn't do anything on those things. I don't know, what's the point? <laughs> Uh, okay, so that should be finding shade cores, and then I imagine that we can loop, and let's see, how many how many captures per second do you think we can do, chat? How slow is this shit gonna be? We'll do a hundred captures. It's gonna take forever. You you and I both know this is going to be slow as shit. Come on. Uh, sex F64. Oh, go fuck yourself. Oh, into iter. Into iter.
Oh, by golly gee willikers. Uh, release build. Please be a release issue. <laughs> Please, God. God, how slow is this? <laughs> Somebody. Try capturing a bimp or tiff or pick them. I, I imagine that's what it is doing. But who knows, you know. Jesus Christ, dude. These rust build times, man. Oh. I mean, that's fine. God, that's slow, though. Bro. I'm pretty sure X11, like, has no problem doing, like, 300 frames a second of capture. Oh, I am running OBS. That is fair. I'm running OBS. Maybe that fucks with stuff. Let's see. Do I drop frames when I run this? Nope. Don't seem to. Um, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's not great. It's fine. It's fine. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I wonder how long it stays on the screen, like damage numbers. So let's capture. I would say it stays on the screen for like. Let's capture 10 frames a second. Uh, uh, standard thread, sleep, duration from millis, 100. 100 a second. Let's just start with something big old basic right now. And then I'm going to... We need to capture this. So we'll see what we can do. I think we have a really good balance of armor. Yeah, I'm regening now. So I could take like one off. Yep, like here I'm gonna be able to heal. I'm gonna clear those messages. Bam. Okay, yeah, I should be growing in health. All right, so we're going to do a bunch of captures, and then we're going to save them to disk. Uh, so we can have just some data samples. So we'll do uh, cap.save image. Dot save, I think. Save, save, save. Save. Um... Uh, target, uh, format, target, slash, ii.png. I imagine unwrap here. So, oops, and duration. But yeah, we're going to write some fun processing stuff here. We're just taking a corpus. Okay. 
So we're just capturing data, and I just want to get uh, some varying data here of what things look like at different phases, um, different blood hits, sparks, um, maybe even a, a two character something or other. But first, we're just going to start with this. I think we're going to just search for the color first, and then once we find the color, we're going to uh, like figure out what that number is, because I think it will be a unique color on the screen. Oh, come on. Um, and how many fish are we at? 19 fish? Uh, take it off one armor, bam. Okay, so we're getting more and more screen captures, and then once we have that, we'll just be able to take a look at them and, and see what we can do. I guess, how long is this going to run? I should have enough data at this point, right? So what I want to be able to do is tell where the number is showing up on the screen. Um, so I know which tile is taking or giving the damage. Um, okay, there we go. That should be enough data. Um, is Nomax going to work here? Uh, let's see. What's this bitching about? TempFS? Um... Damn, Nomax doesn't like uh, SE Linux here. Um, bu -bu -bum -bum. Damn it. How am I going to view these images? Um, also, looks to me that capturing video on X11 might break X11. Yeah, yeah luckily, this isn't X11. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, fucking no, Max, dude. Um, we'll just do this. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So what I hopefully you should be able to do is this. Okay, so we can kind of see what they look like. Um, ooh, can I do like, uh, can I swab these? Invert, background. What's pseudo color function?
What is this? This is kind of cool. Um, why does it go into this mode, though? What the fuck is this? Oh. It looked like it was close, but it's not quite what I wanted. I know you kind of can't see this in this spot. Um. Tools. Metadata info, metadata ribbon. Honestly, I like that. Uh, yep. Okay, notes, view. Hmm. How do I... Is there no way? Because I could GIMP it, but GIMP's kind of annoying. <laughs> Player, image notes... What sucks is that this one mode is, like, what I wanted. A pseudo-color function. Which I have no idea what this is. But it has a swab. But it's not what I want. <laughs> Fuckers. Um... Yeah, like what? What is this? Well, I guess we might just have to use GIMP then. Well, let's see, is 10 per second working? I'd also like to be able to see the sparks and poofs. So let's get a blood hit here. There's a blood hit. So this is literally what we want to parse. How many frames is that on here? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna say seven. Uh, so like, so it's up there in full strength for more than half a second because these are a uh, hundred millis apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, if I do one capture every five seconds, it should be sufficient. Um, but yeah, so we're just looking for this, whatever fucking color this is. Oh, copy color. What is that? Uh, what does that do? Copy color. Control Alt C. Oops. But that's not... Do I have to like somehow select a pixel? Do I have to turn off this mode? How do I... How do I make this work? Copy color. Oh! That's just straight red. Copy color. FFFF. And now if I go copy color here. Yep, that's blue. Nice! I can I can deal with that. Okay, so um, we're gonna just strip out all but exactly full red, and we're gonna see what that looks like. The purest of reds. Okay, so um, okay, and then let's uh. Does it show up in full red if you walk away? Yeah. 
Yeah, it it's gonna it doesn't follow the character at all. To my knowledge. So and it should also be full red up here, even where it's dark. See? Like even where it's dark, it's still full red up here on this guy. So let's uh copy color, double check. Yes, that's 100 percent full red. Okay, so let's see. As raw returns the underlying raw buffer. Um, and yeah, it does look like I'm healing, so it's looking pretty good here. So, uh, dot pixels, iterator over pixels into raw, and that returns a container, but what's a container? What, what is a container? Uh, into raw. So, and we're just going to hard code the format. This isn't meant to be like some bulletproof code or anything. Here we go. We'll turn up our frequency a, a, a bit more just so we have just slightly more data. Actually, we can't really go too much faster. Let's let's do 100. Let's do 100. Um, into raw. What is raw? Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do some fishing quick. I'm at 16 fish. I'm gonna drop this, 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 that. Pick up as many fish as I can. So now I can see how many fish that I have and that makes it easier. I think I already got a fish from that spot. Got one there. Once I get my fishing skill a little higher, I won't be spending as much time microing this fishing shit. Nice. Nice. Dude, my fish RNG is nuts. I'm almost full fucking cat. Oh my, oh my God. I'm an animal. Well, that fishing was very fast. All right. Um. So yeah, this will be really easy to find. So what is this container? It says container. Uh, is that just vacuate? Like, what the fuck is this? Uh, looks like RGB A. RGB A? Yeah, I think that's literally evacuate, which is exactly what I want. I, I just get me out of this fucking library. I don't want to use someone else's code and have to deal with this shit. Nice. Get the RGB A. Uh, formatted data. Bam. So it's just fucking grab the screen, get the fucking data, get out of there. Um, and then we're going to actually transform that into pixel data. Um, oh, I also need to, while I have it, uh, width is cap width. And a height is cap height. Obviously, I need to know that information as well. Uh, height. What's the overrunner on Gamoza getting banned by the devs because they're weird about tibia mods? Uh, who let the tiniest amount of power go to their heads? 
Oh yeah, they won't even know this stream exists, to be honest. But even if they did, like, I don't really care if I get banned. Like, I'm not doing something that's really bannable, in my opinion. Um, but if they wanted to ban me, I'll go back to, like, having a fucking life, right? Like, I don't really get attached to games like this. Um... You might want to get stride. Nah, I don't I don't give a shit. I don't need that. Um for RGBA we're gonna do we're actually gonna I guess we're gonna do some unsafe chat because Russ still doesn't have a good fucking safe transmute. Um, um, cap into raw dot into, uh, what does Russ call this on a VEC? Six ten. Um, into uh, ba 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 into raw parts and then from raw parts okay yeah i kind of don't want to do that um into box slice and then once it's a box slice then it's a little easier, IMO. This dude's wailing on me. I'll put a scarf back on. Um, box slice. Uh Ooh, do they have an into raw for box slices? Can't you do a ray windows? Yeah, I can. It's just <sighs> I just wanted to get it there. Uh, in count dot array of windows for, I don't think array windows is stable yet. Yeah. This is what I was trying to avoid. I don't know, but it's fine. I don't really give a shit. Okay. Um, if <laughs> let mute, uh, output is vec new. If uh, matches, yeah. If R G B A is equal to the F F zero zero F F output dot push R G B A. Ah, uh, extend from slice. R G B A output else output uh O four. Eh? Oh fuck you.
Okay, and then I should be able to make a Rigba image from Raw. Uh, and that's from image. From Raw. With, withith and uh, hideth. And we'll do uh, contents. Uh, output. And that should work. Oops. Image. Cargo add image. Okay, so this is in theory showing only red. So we're going to do some captures for a while and see what this looks like. So I'm curious what all will be red on the screen and stuff. Um, and we're just waiting. I'm waiting until I get a blood hit on each character. There's one on me. Now I have to get a blood hit on him. So really what I'm trying to do, and there we go, got a blood hit on him, and that should be captured and good. Okay. So now we can go to um, copy from... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, pleb to be a ice chisel. Give me dot. Okay. So now these are updated. So I'm going to go to like early ones, see what happens. Remove startup PNG and copy and do that. Does this not like refresh? If I change those files out, did I did I just fuck myself there? I'm feeling like I fucked myself. I really don't want to have to, like, reopen that every time. Uh... Oh, are the images just all fucked? Uh, is it ARGB or some shit? Let's just do um, this for now. So let's make sure we can round trip. Um, okay. So that's not what I want. What? <laughs> what? What? RGBA image. What? Am I... Am I fucking crazy? From with height. With and height, that seems reasonable, but there's like what? 
Oh, chunks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? How is it, like, getting desynced? I felt like I was looking at some, like, interlaced video. Jesus. What did, what did I just... Oh, I just killed Firefox. I see. I see. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, chat. It's fine. Just, it's, just, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, chat. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Found the real Desu. Yeah, see, it's really not that hard to find him, is it? Uh, ba 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 ba. Oh yay! We have an image, chat. We did it, Pog Champ. Okay, now we are on this, and now it will go brrrr, and it'll be only red shit. Scoop. Okay, wait. Uh, as my magic level, my experience should be above that. Maybe not. I guess maybe only magic level is full max. There's no music playing right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, so, okay. Hey! A damage! We have in damage. So we got some magic level here. Uh, that will never match a letter, so it should be fine. But we have a th uh, we have in three. Okay. How do we want to do this, chat? <laughs> three. Three is in chat. Um, three. That's a really nice looking, clean, crisp three. I'm so delayed. I mean, mentally, yeah, you are. Ha! Got him! Ha! <laughs> 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 Got him. D colon. D colon. Um. So. Let me. F let me see if I can find. Uh, the tibia font. Because I probably just can. Uh, tibia a damage font. No, 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 no. Bro, how does no one have this? Uh... Can't open a private chat with myself.
Um, ma, 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 ma. Skidu bow. Skidu bow. bow. Skidu pop bow. Uh, ba, ba, bow. I bet it's a reasonable size for a VPN client, dude. How, where else do you put the electron? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. We did it, chat. Press your we did it buttons. Um... Uh, let's just do a, 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 is that a dash? Yeah, dash. Bam! Is that the exact same font? Yes. Okay. It's finally free. <laughs> we did it. Ah, uh, okay. So we have all of the numbers, which is we only care about numbers. Um, and they should always have the black border too. Um, how do we want to search for these images? Thoughts? Anyone got some big smart brain ideas? Yeah, Blob detection, relative chords from top left, hash map. Uh, I don't know. That sounds pretty advanced. Um, that sounds pretty advanced. Oh, what is the most? What is the most uh, information-dense single row? That's what I want. That's what I want. I want to find the most information-dense single row. That's what I want to do. Um... Always the same size they should be. How fast can we process this image? I think we want this like second line. The second line kind of looks the most interesting. The row where eight goes in. Oh, the center one. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, let's map these quick. Um, uh, oh yeah, and I don't know how the black border works, but obviously the, the interior will always exist. What do you think we do, chat? Do we ignore the border? Like, what do we... Six and five might be the same. Um, <laughs> I th can we safely assume there's always a border? I'd have to kind of do these individually. I also don't know how the shading works on them. Let's just do only the inside. Only the meat.
Okay. I also want to do corner detection to find where the in-game screen is, so I know what the scale is of stuff. Um... Let's do this, chat. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. I'm going to take a piss, and I'll be right back. I'm so excited for my dog, chat. You have no idea. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be great. I got told that I'm going to get a boy instead of a girl. Um, one of the girls, they're going to hold back, and I think the other group just wanted a girl a lot more than I did, and I'm like, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Um, so I might get the biggest dog of the pack. Which might be hilarious because it'll probably be like 120 or 130 pounds. These things get fucking huge. I'll be right back. Uh, and I should be safe. Okay. Oh, thanks for the follow on Mastodon. I have no idea how all that stuff works. Um, in the uh, let me read chat. I haven't been interacting with chat much. Um, in the past, I just created a list of pixel coordinates and then uh, breadth for search to group the pixels into blobs and then compute the center of mass. And just match each blob with the array of digits. Yeah. That sounds pretty good to me, but... You just have a lot of sparse axes that I want to avoid. Um, I want to keep all the axes linear, because everything should be linear. Will you upload the VOD? I probably will, unless the stream goes really poorly. But I don't think it will. Um... Okay. Uh, what we want to first do is just build out these fonts... Um, and I kind of want to do it in, like, a really simple format. So, what's the largest glyph? One, two, three, four, five, six pixels. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six. Looks like one is the only short one. Six, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think they're all six. So um, what we'll do is we'll just do uh, const font u8 by... Uh, and how tall are these? They're all the same height, right? There's no ascenders or descenders. I think they're all exactly the same height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So we'll do uh, index. I always struggle to figure out which way I want to go on array dimensions. But we want to go this way. We want the six to be in a row for memory access. Sweet. If a single line doesn't work, kernel convolution should be pretty easy to implement. They're a con if uh, they're a constant size. Unfortunately, they aren't. Just the one. 
the one throws that off. Um, also, I do have, like, the alpha layers, right, where there's, like, the see-through. Um, but if I do a first-pass filter on colors, I think I'll be fine. There might be some red that shows up in random spots, like blood spatter on the ground, or, like, maybe an outfit, uh, like, some combination of an outfit of fa if facing and light and stuff could cause it. Um, but I think if I just filter purely for red, I should be able to get these pretty easy. Um... One... Two, three, four, five, six. So is this what we want to do, chat? <laughs> is this is this really how we want to do this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right? Right? Oh, and then this is an array of ten. <laughs> what? What? Um, what is this bitching about? Oh, because those are. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. That should be eight tall. There we go. <laughs> we just do this a couple times, chat. And tell me about your day. How's it going? One, two, three, four. One, two, blank, blank, one, two. Blank, 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 blank. And then these are stepping one at a time. And then we're doing bop bop. Ooh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, missed one. No, 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 no. This way. This way. There. God, this dude's fucking hitting me real hard now. I don't know why. Um, two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, one, two, three, four. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Uh, no. Blah 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 blah. Are you double checking these, chat? You better be double checking these. Bink. Bink, bink. Bink, bink, bink. Bink, bink, bink. bink. Oop. We're off by one here. Bip, bip. Bip, bip, bip. Bip, bip, bip. Bip, bip, bip. bip. Bip, 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 
Bep, bep. Ah, uh, something like that. One is off? What the fuck do you mean? One, two. How is... How is one off? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, there you go. Um... Okay, so far we're doing really good, chat, okay? We're doing great. So keep it up. Uh, bink, 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 bink. Bink, 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 bink. Bink, 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 bink. Bink, 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 bink. Bink, 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 bink. Bink, 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 bink. Bink, bink. Bink, bink. On the number three, one pixel is... Oh, it was off? Okay. Maybe I should turn on the lower latency mode at some point. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, blah. Blah, 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 one, two, three. Blah, blah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, blah. One, two, blah, 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 blah. One, two, blah, 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 blah. Oops. One, two, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, seven's going to be hard, chat. You know why? Because seven, eight, nine. Um, doop, 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 I think that's uh, about right. Uh, we'll do an eight. One, two, three, four, blah. One, two, blah, 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 blah. One, two, blah, 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 blah. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I think we're kind of slaying it, chat. Da 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 is it just this? Yeah. Okay. And we're actually going to do zero through nine here. Scoop. 
All right. Okay. Um. And then is there a load from fn per? Um. How do I read? From raw, from pixel, from fn. Image. All right, load a load. Okay, so I'll just do this. Eh. If true, else. And then we'll go to debug mode and we'll do a image load from our reader. Load an image from a dynamic result. Uh, image, 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 image. Home pleb images that dot ping. Unwrap. Come on. Oh, not load. Uh, open. Um. Can I do this? Uh, I see. I see what it, I see what it wants me to do here. Hopefully I can do this. Do, do, do. Use image, dynamic image. Ah, 127 into raw. And dynamic image. You know what? Can I can I go the other way? Can I do this? I wonder if there's a dot into. Expected an image buffer. Found a dynamic image. Okay. Um, and then into RGBA. Dot into RGBA eight. Oops, on this. Yay! Okay, so now we should be able to find our font. So, uh, get the width and the height, get the raw datums, datoids, datals, and then, um, for I, I, and this dot enumerate, let x is equal to i i mod width let y is equal to i i div width uh compute x and y chords yep so i'll have those yeah sure um <sighs> fuck it we'll do the use as you size i don't i don't give a shit which one's which Okay. Oh, okay. Go fuck yourself, then. Uh, let I is I as you three two. Scoop, scoop. Okay, mod with div with. 
Now we should have all of the pixel cords as we go through them. And let's see, are any of these lines unique? I don't think so. I don't think there is any single line that is unique. Line in zero to eight for uh for flim in font uh for digit in font for um let me set is the standard collections b tree Uh, collections, B tree set, new set dot, uh, insert digit, uh, line. Mm. Wow, so we get up to seven on those. Um, for line A in zero to eight, for line B in zero to eight, uh, insert digit line A, digit line B. If set dot len is equal to ten, print len line A, line B. Just three and five. Um, look, uh, uh, lines three and five are uh, unique enough um, together are unique enough to identify a digit. So three and five. That's assuming that we have the digits uh, implemented correctly and we'll test that now by seeing if we can find all of them. Um, we'll do that really inefficiently. Um, for X. Uh, yeah. Cause I imagine these have like a get pixel probably. get pixel ref p can't believe they shift so many useless lines in their game right what a waste <laughs> what a fucking waste <laughs> Uh, for, uh, blah, 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 for Y in zero to fucking, uh, height minus eight for X in zero to width minus six, uh, for, uh, Y O in zero to eight for y, uh, X O in zero to six. Uh-huh. Uh, let me match is the, uh, uh, mm -hmm. 
Uh, match to zero. We'll go with that. Uh, copy color. F F O O. Okay. Um, cap dot get pixel at x plus x o y plus y o pixel is equal to this. Okay. If pixel is equal to fucking this. Please be a, t a tuple. Ah, son of a bitch. That's uh, RGBAU8. Ah, oh, dot zero. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah! Okay. And then, um, mm, target is equal to zero. Uh, if uh, match plus equals one, and then we'll say if font for shit, um, Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. For f the digit in, f in f font. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 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 Yeah, let's fucking go, baby. Uh, if... Mm, dot zero... Let's, uh, image and expected is digit uh, yo xo. If x is equal to x and image is equal to this. Uh, match plus equals one. If, uh, target plus equals one. Uh, if target is equal to matched, uh, print land found, found, uh, mm, d the thing at, uh, X. Why? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then let's just do one iter, and we should have ten matches, hopefully. Dot iter dot enumerate. Um, found a digit, and you should be this sequential. Well, they're all on the same line, so that's a good sign. Zero, one, two, three, f Oh my god, is three a subset of eight? Wait. Oh, 
Um, uh, I mean, it works. So, yeah, my my font stuff is correct. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Um But I can I can just do this. Well, it it doesn't matter. I have the font right. Right? This this proves that the font is implemented correctly and that's all I care about, right? We found the threes, we found the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I th think this just means my font was implemented correctly, which is the whole point of this code. This is the only thing I'm doing with this code. You could include the black outlines. So I'm a little scared about black outlines because I don't know how they work. Right? Because I think there's there's some logic with where they end up relative to other digits. Like, what happens when they share a border? Like, I, basically, I don't want to figure out how all of the recurring is implemented, which is probably very simple. It's probably really not that complex or weird. Um, but I just don't want to have to figure that out. Um, yeah, let's, uh, get rid of that code. And now, um, I would be comfortable doing interiors. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So like right here, there's a hole in, in the three. I do have to fish for a minute, chat. One second. Hopefully I got good RNG like I did last time. Getting my fishing skill up at least. Nice, nice. My fishing is going okay, chat. It's not as good as last time, though. Last fishing fucked. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, a couple more fish yet. Just relax. This is just what you have to do, okay? This is how the fucking game works. I didn't I didn't decide to play this game. Okay, I just got some pretty good RNG. Oh, have your fish? 
Five ounces. Done. I'm done. I did it. I did a very good job, chat. Um, okay. Uh, did the font right? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, how will I tell three apart from nine? Five, six, seven. Actually, I think I can safely say there should be no other characters nearby. Or no other pixels nearby. Even the one extends at least to six before something butts up against it because of this shadow here, I would imagine. Two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I think what I can do is it will be... They have to only have the red at the X's and not have red not at the X's. And then that's, that should be a unique match. I am H O. I'm a ho. Okay. Um target color T call. Uh target color for the font. So this will vary based on what mobs I'm attacking or what kind of what type of damage I'm dealing. So we're just gonna make this a tunable for now. So that's the target color. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through um Every line. For. Oh. Um. Was it lines three and five? Yeah, lines three and five. So we're going to do four digit in... Zero to nine. Let font is equal to font digit. Four line in three and five. Look through every line, see if a bit pattern matches any of the lines. Check line two below it, see if it matches. Yeah. I mean, not that perf really matters here, to be honest. I do a bit hacks. Yeah. Um, I basically have to pre-process the image first, which is fine. I wouldn't want to use actual bit patterns. I think I just want to use bytes. Bit patterns are pretty much always worse than bytes. The, the cost of extracting bit information usually never makes it worth it. Unless it's literally the difference of like L1 versus not L1. Which could be the case here. So yeah, I think we'll filter the image first. Um... Yeah, that's interesting. I actually kind of can do bits if you're setting them. Does Rust expose the fast bit ops? Um, like string bit ops? Uh, I don't know if they do. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what can I do here? Honestly, I think red is rare enough that I actually don't want to just straight filter. I think I just want to only store chords of red or matching colors, which is really wild. 
Uh, but I think it's correct. If RGB, uh, if RGBA is equal to T call, then uh, can't push X, Y. But yeah, like there's going to be so few matching pixels that I think this will actually just be better than anything else I could do. Like, yeah, obviously a screen where there's a billion characters would be a worst case scenario and it would probably be worse. But in all other situations, that's probably not the case. Um... Uh, can't push... Oop. Oop. Output. Okay, output.push that, and then we're not going to actually save that image. So this is already probably worse than will possibly happen because all of this is green. In reality, red will only be the numbers. Like, players cannot talk in red. There's nothing in the game that's red other than a blood hit in this font. Um, GM messages are in, like, red, but they're in, like, a light red. So it's only going to be, like, a couple digits over mobs that actively got damaged and received damage and bled out. Like, this is already, like, a really bad worst-case scenario for how many pixels here are involved, because this will be a, a shit ton, right? Um, right, uh, print len, uh, output dot len. There's gonna be hundreds of pixels. But even then, it's just still maybe not even worth it to have a fucking, um, lookup. Yeah, 676, which is this. Um, I think there's maybe other places where there can be green at some point, but yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do, um, let's actually put the, the true filter in. RGB. So this is looking for red. We're going to look for red on the actual data. And here we go. So this will be printing uh, the number of red pixels. So there, yep, you can see when damage goes out already, right? So obviously there's no meaning here, but it, it's so obvious when damage goes out. And in this case, yep, there's damage. That was a four. Yep, and there, I just took four. So you can see um, when that's up there. And it should be up there for about seven of 700 millis thereabouts. Obviously, it's like fading out. So once it starts fading, it immediately no longer is visible. But yeah, I think for n equals 32, it, it probably is literally going to be fastest to use an array. Like, I don't even think it's worth... Um, can I like sort these or do something? So I have a list of all the pixels that occurred there, right? So let's say it goes up to like a hundred. Do I even want to use a set at that point? I don't think so. And I could sort these by X and Y and then binary search them. Um... Hmm. Is binary searching even worth it? They're already sorted. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um. So you would only ever have to look after them. Yeah, this is really good, actually. Uh, this is really, really good, I think. I mean, th this is a linear pass throughout all the data. There's nothing we can do to stop that. We have we have to do this. Um, uh, 
Oh, that's good. Chat, this is good. This is good, chat. Um... I gotta feel so good. Do 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 bum 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 bum. Is this auto vectorized already? I don't think vectorization will work here. Um, because I think it's too small of n. Oh, yeah, this could be vectorized, and it probably is. Um, uh, Rust flags, uh, C targets, CPU native cargo run release. But yeah, this is probably vectorized, I would imagine. It's such a simple operation. Although the X and Y, like, mod stuff might not be the case, but we actually don't need the X and Y info, so we can just push II instead. Um, filter for only the uh, color we care about. All right. And you're going to struggle to beat that one. <laughs> if that doesn't fucking vectorize, I would be blown away. But I am using an iterator. Um, D target, uh, release, uh, ice chisel. Uh, oh, yep, because it's fucking rust. Okay. Uh, and then, um, main should be this. Uh, are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Are you serious? Push. Push got inlined. Um, Alec. That's into iter drop. Um, nop, nop, nop. What? 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 <laughs> what?
I have to say the stream looks so crisp. Yeah. And that isn't that cool? You like that? Um nop 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 nop. But yeah, I think the loads like uh this is, that looks like timing. Um I don't know. I'm not feeling like this is getting uh, vectorized well. There's Grovec. Yeah, so like this is all the logic. Um, um And thanks for saying the stream looks crisp. I'm I'm glad. I'm not sure a full linear pass is necessary. Could you skip over rows while searching the pixels? No, because um well, yes and no. Like yes, you can skip over rows, but n I don't know like where the font will be, so I'd have to then scan more over the uh font. So it would make the font search more complex. It, it might be worth it. It might be better. I don't know. It's it's really tough because you're kind of making one operation significantly more expensive and the other one not much because the linear scan is going to be so fast. It's all going to be prefetched and just flying through data at the speed that basically it can read it out of memory. But there's still a lot of comparisons going on there. However, there's a lot more with um, the font stuff because then you have to handle like looking for specific lines. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's It's one of those things that's like, really hard unless we kind of just do both and I, I kind of don't want to do both <laughs> it would be very apparent which one's better or worse um okay so why is this not i mean we don't really care we're, we're really not optimizing this that much chat like let's be honest here you you want to you want to see why we don't give a shit chat Yeah, it's just the capture is so much more time, right? It's 10 times longer to capture. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what happens if we skipped every other line. If II div by width mod 2 is equal to 0, continue, right? Skip every other line. Um... Is it slower? Is it literally slower now? I think it's literally slower now. It was like 0 0.002, 0 0.001, 0 0.002, and now it's 0 0.004. And that's because we're probably either Rust produced some absolute F tier code gen, probably did, because there's probably a div now in like every fucking iter. Um, 
Or, so it's either really bad code gen, or we're jumping further than uh, than 4K, which we definitely are, because this is, let's just say, uh, yeah, in this case, like 1900-ish pixels times four, 7600. The stride detector on the prefetcher on x86 is uh, 4096. So you're actually jumping larger than the prefetcher is going to be comfortable prefetching that. So you could manually prefetch and make it fast. You could like slightly change the way that you do strides and stuff, but um, you're ultimately making it like a much, you're taking arguably the easiest to bulk and vectorize operation and you're now adding conditionals to it. Um, and it's just gonna potentially hurt it. But I think that's probably more code gen due to the the divide by an unknown value. So it has to emit an actual divide and it's probably not vectorizing this. So it's probably doing that every loop iter for every pixel. It's now doing a 50 cycle divide that it wasn't doing before, right? Um, but who knows, right? Like, I don't really care to be honest <laughs> because we're just, we're so in the shadows. Um... We're so in the shadows of the actual capture that it just doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I wish that weren't the case. If the capture was faster, I wouldn't care. But yeah, we're like 10% of a capture right now. And now we have to do some really simple searches through a N equals 100 vector. <laughs> so, I don't know. A little bit psycho. On my mind, my mind. I actually really like this cover. The first 211. All the first 211 covers are really good. Let's see how the stream health is going. Two viewers are having issues. Yeah, I probably just have dog shit internet. Oh my god, it's stream! Okay, um, 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 um. Uh. um, let's see. So now, how do we actually find these letters? We have to look at three and five. So this is uh, for each. <laughs> hmm. For. So we have all of the indices, the indoids, as I like to call them. Got the indoids. We have the indices. And I want to... Take these. Go through them. Check all the fonts. Do I want the font loop on the outside or the inside? Font loop on the outside because it's sparser, and we want to do the sparse thing outside instead of inside. Um, indies. <laughs> it's hard telling if one of them is me being a false positive. I have the stream paused. Oh yeah, interesting. Too lazy to pop out chat? Oh, it's pinned in the stream chat channel in Discord. <sighs> By God. These viewers, man. Uh, four digit in zero di equal nine. And we're going to do this because Rust generates really bad code or historically did four inclusive iterators. Now we want to do four X. Um, we only care about lines three and lines five. So 
four. For each thing and output dot e two uh, for each index and output we share two brain cells. I'm saying chat in general is just two brain cells. That's probably about right. It sounds sounds accurate. <laughs> uh, get each thing. Uh, okay, 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 okay. If uh uh uh. uh. Uh, uh, um, line three is equal to font digit three, line three and line five. Um, why is this so hard to think about? Um, for each thing, uh, Uh Hmm I want to search for like a specific incrementing sequence Hmm. Speaking of lazy, I don't want to dig through one of the servers out of a literal pile of servers in the corner so I can rearrange RAM sticks to make all the geometry match on a per CPU basis. No. No one no one wants to help with that. That sounds like shit. <laughs> That's just terrible tasking. <laughs> this is just terrible tasking. Let's fuck off. No. Um, oh, God, how do I want to do this? <laughs> this is so hard. Shit. Well, I have a, I have a question here. Uh, what about this? <laughs> what? What? Fuck. Uh, shit. Um, ba -ba -ba. uh, a. Uh, uh, standard array from fn i i bet 
Bep. Set. Oh, fuck you. Oh, Russ needs so many annotations. Ooh, nothing. Damn. Damn. Well, I guess uh, I actually want these to just be booleans. Uh... We don't want it to be like an encoding issue, right? I don't know. Would that matter? Is that is that how things happen? Uh, I don't know how computers work. Nope, none. Okay, so we actually have to check those lines. Um, lines three and lines five. Should be able to build and run. Nice. Oof. Oof. Okay. Um. Index in output. Um, hmm. Uh, chat, how do we want to do this? Why is this so hard? Why did we why didn't we make this such a tough format? Go through all of the indoids and we'll take our indoids and we want to check um I think I need to do like differences or something. Um, last plus equals one. Let me last is zero. Last plus equals one. If Oh, wait, 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 last is equal to, uh, none. Last is some index. That? Okay. Then what I want to do is... So we need to figure out like what what we're looking for. So we're always looking for line three first. We're actually never scanning for line five. So we just want to get line three's deltas. Right? <laughs> we want to like find the last place where something was found. Okay. Uh for digit uh, for x in line 3. If x is equal to x uh, last is some dot iter dot enumerate. I, I. 
Because I might be able to do this in one pass up above as well. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to like pre-process these digits. I, I, X. Uh, let mute seek. Is he Levec new? Um, seek dot push. I, I minus seek dot unwrap. Uh, So this should panic, obviously. Oops. Uh, last. Oops. Do it up here. Okay. Uh, print the sequence here, and I'll break. So this is just for zero. Uh, for zero. So this should be. This should actually panic immediately. Yep. Um. Unwrap, sequence, push, unwrap, uh, or zero. If I do this, zero, one, one, two, three, one. Yep. Two. How is that two, three, one? How is that zero, one, one, two, three, one? I do like this. I, I think this will work for encoding. Which is going to be like actually really cool, I think. Um I don't know how to deal with the zeroth index. Right? Like, how do I want to deal with that equals zero case? I'm uh, setting up training. Okay, there's one bug, two bug. Nice. Okay, perfect. There's a server save, so I gotta go get new uh, new mobs. Okay. 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 Should both be getting hit. Looks good. And we're training. Nice. Nice. Boop, boop. One more tick of health. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, how do I want to handle the zero index here? Where it's going to be... I don't want that to be zero. Or can I have that be zero? 
Because it where we have these voids. Zero, one. Oh yeah, and we're on line three. Zero, one, two, three. So this should be zero, one, one, two, three, one. Okay, it's only the first digit that I don't like. Can we just ignore the first digit? Um, can we just only do the following digit? The following, ah, we can't, we can't do that. That doesn't work. Um, unwrap or zero. Okay, let's say I want to do, because I need to know unwrap or ii, or it's always zero. And zero would mean no info yet. Or something. Is that how math works? So we would have like... Because all the other stuff is fine. I think I should be able to find that exact sequence in the in the other stuff except for the zero um yeah like seven this is tough because we have no information for a long time so i would have to know like Equality versus greater than, I think, for this. So let's try this. Uh, O2x. And then we'll say, if let sum ii equals last. Uh, if let sum uh, val. Um, then we'll do sequence.push. Uh, I, I minus val, otherwise sequence dot push I, I or 80. Um, so they're 80 while we don't have information, and then it's saying that, um, Hmm, is this information encoded in the other bytes, though? Or could we encode the number of non... This is, like, really fun. I've never thought about this style of encoding. Um, uh, zero, one, two, three. Let's do eight, actually. Because eight, it's just easier to know that it's the center band of the eight. Um, so that's a one, 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 one. Yep, that's not quite what we want. Um, <laughs> really, we want to find a unique sequence that is like index based on some of these lines. So yeah, let's do that up. Here, where we do this set forming stuff. And let's just do um, set dot bam. And we'll do only this. Insert sequence. 
Um. Yeah, just line A for now. Actually, we need both line A and line B. Um, okay. Bam. Uh, bam. Like this. Hmm. Uh, uh, I don't know. Can we even do this? It's really that zero index that really is, is tripping me up in my head, and I don't know if it matters. But my brain thinks it does for some reason. Uh, if x is equal to x, iterate through these. We want to find some way that we can turn the index relation of present data into a unique identifier for a character. <laughs> Such that we can scan forwards. Um, because I want to like substring for the first slice. We're going to do this. Uh, font, oh, digit, line A. Uh, sequence here. Okay, so that doesn't uniquely identify, but this probably will. No, okay. Um, although this isn't exactly what I want. Uh, let mute group is equal to vec new. <laughs> group push. Hmm. Hmm. Because I, I want to basically make a proof that this logic works first before we do anything else. Um. One thirty-seven. Oops. Uh, group dot push sequence and then here group okay that doesn't work Hmm. How does that not work? What do these look like? I wonder how many of these we even have, actually. Set. Uh, this. Because a lot of times, 
I want to know that nothing has happened for a certain amount of time, at least. Which is this case. Which I think we have to have a special indication with that I.I. Like, I feel like this should work for a scan. Right? Like, this should tell us... Zero. Uh, yeah, I want to go back to printing it out down here. Not this set. Like this. So this was for eight. And I think I want to set last first. Okay, um, then, in the case of eight, uh, is this eight? No, 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 okay, I was about to say that's wrong for eight. Yeah, for eight, this is saying that plus one. Or just greater than. Greater than. So the 80 says greater than. So this has to be greater than zero. So this is kind of a wild card. So this is saying greater than zero. And then this is equal to zero, equal to zero, equal to zero, equal to zero, equal to one. And this is basically giving me a pattern that should allow me to linearly scan the image for candidates that could be an eight, right? So I have this sequence generated. I can actually save that here. Last is equal to zero here. Yes. And then we can push I, I, and then I, I minus last. Last. Uh, is equal to I, I. That? So that should be the same logic, right? So push I, I minus last and last is set when there's a match to a specific color and this is saying that i need greater than zero um greater than zero yeah like at the very top of the screen well that can't even happen at the top of the screen so since we're starting on line three, yeah, this can actually just be greater than zero. And then the next, the subsequent ones have to match exactly this sequence. And that means that I've found this exact pattern. Because this would be an exact match zero, but it's hollow. So we're saying greater than zero which means that this is not an exact match these are exact matches and then this has been exactly one since the last exact match i think this works i think this works i kind of like it thoughts Eighty zero 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 one. Um. And I think we just do the same for the next line. 
This should be giving me an exact match on that line, I think. Um, okay. Let's see. We're scanning for that. Sequence two. Uh, for each index in output. For index auth in output. Index offset. Okay. Um, we can do windows here. Ah, for I I and zero to uh output dot one. Let delta is equal to output i i dot one. Um for off in zero to six if sequence off and eighty. Is equal to zero. I don't even know why we're overcomplicating this this much. Dude, this dude's ripping me apart. I'm putting on more armor. Holy shit. Bro. Bro. I'm just fishing right now, chat. Sorry. We are definitely overcomplicating this problem. I don't even know if this will be worth the per. Um. Come on, fishies. I feel like I'm getting really bad fish RNG right now. Okay, I got some fish. Dude, this guy's hitting me so hard. I feel like the formulas have changed, actually. Come on, fish. I feel like these fish are taking so long this time. I just have a low fishing skill. Two more. One more fish. One more fish. There it is. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, so let's see if we can f figure this out. If that is not equal to zero, then um next and delta is less than um if delta why are we doing this <laughs> Why are we making this so fucking complicated? It's, does this even work? Uh, if delta is less than... Uh, I feel like this should work. I feel like this should work. We're going to make this work because I want it to work. And now, now I care about it too much. Now I'm invested in this stupid fucking idea. Uh, sequence, off, and F. Continue, uh, you next. Panic. Okay, obviously that's gonna panic. Uh, oh, if... If this is less than that... Uh, no match. Um, oh, sequence off. Oh, uh, delta. Plus off. There we go. Um, and then, otherwise, sequence is null, in which case, if delta is not exactly equal to sequence offset, Continue next. So this should be searching for um Yep, and that's also okay. Uh dot get um if let Delta, if let's some, uh, or let some delta equals to this, else continue next. So we're going to try to get the, like, or offset encoded shit that we made. If it's out of bounds, then obviously we cannot possibly have a match. Uh, we'll ref this. Semi. Banger playlist? Hell yeah. I'm glad you enjoy it. I, I do really enjoy the just random covers and shit. I don't know. <laughs> um, and a semi. And expect to be size. Yeah, why? Oh, because this. There we go. Yeah, just randomly put an ampersand around until it works. Okay, so, um. Get the offset information. If the delta is less than. So it has to be greater than zero. So if it's less than zero, then it'll filter it out, which is not possible. So if it's leakable, no match. Fuck. Oh, we haven't done damage. Maybe. Come on, damage. There it is. Oh, we have to do eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm. Oh, 
Come on. What I should do is just record a bunch of images. Yeah, that, like that was a four and I missed it. Um, For each offset, get output, get sequence. Sequence we push every time. I, I minus val. Time since the most recent. And then this should also be less as I, I. Time since the most recent match. I, I minus last. I, I. Plus offset. I, I. Plus the offset. Huh. Huh. Are these news posted to YouTube afterwards? Uh, yeah, usually they are. Unless they don't go well, but... Usually they go okay. Although, uh, we're getting fucked here. Um, delta is... Less than or equal to... Then it's no match. If it's equal to zero... Otherwise, if the delta is not equal to the exact sequence, then no match. And we're never getting a match. Back. Um, let's go back to our test image, just so we don't have to like wait for data and stuff. Well, you should be able to find all of these. And then we have to go back to this color, whatever the fuck this is. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. E, F, E, F. O, O, F, F. So now we should instantly... Nice, okay. Any chance to compare perf of Ampere, AMD, and Intel soon? No, nah, I don't. I'm not going to buy a bunch of servers to do that. Um, interesting. Let's just do 8 to 8. So we know that we're only looking with at 8. And we should have a sequence... And output. And what I'm I'm looking for a subsequence in here. Oh, all of these are zero. Yeah, all these will always be zero. Am I stupid? Um I think I have to go that way. Yeah. Uh, which means this one has to be last update after. But I don't think this works. Because now this has a... Yeah, like that's not what I want though. I want this. What do you think about Intel Sierra Forest? I'm not familiar at all with it. Uh, 80. 80, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
Um, hmm. Um, starting to think this is really dumb, chat. One, I could also search backwards just a smidgen. Really, there just has to be, like, a hole of a certain size. That's the part that's really tricky here. Honestly, I, like, I kind of don't care about this problem enough. I kind of just want to brute force it. Um... Yeah, this logic is dumb as shit. I think it would work. Um, uh, four. Uh, I, I, in zero to... I, th I feel like I do want the distance from the most recent match. But I want to handle the edge case differently, I think. Let me last is zero. Push II, II minus last. Last is equal to II. Good night. II in output.len. Bam. Okay, um, so I only have matches, but I also want, like, misses, <laughs> is the, is the biggest thing. Four off in zero to six. I need to know how many need to not be there. Is there E core only CPUs? Oh, interesting. Huh. That could be fun. Uh, what did they do for cash? But yeah, that probably would be good for fuzzing. Yeah, I mean, that just sounds like it's uh, Xeon Phi's, basically. <laughs> I'd imagine this would be really good for uh, any custom software, but probably terrible for existing software. Um... Sociopath. How do we want to do this? Three, five, six. I need to know. It's tough because, like, I don't know when a match is going to start because I only have matching colors. But I need to know that I need to have not had a match. It's the void space that's really fucking hard. <laughs> um, 
but I also want to only linearly do a single pass forwards. Because I think I should be able to. <laughs> oh, God. Let me last is equal to zero. Last is equal to I, I. Uh, if... Because I have this sequence, like I computed before, let me at sequence is equal to vec new. For I, I, val in line three dot iter dot enumerate. Shoop. If val is equal to b x sequence dot push val minus last, last is equal to i i It's really this none case that's so fucking hard, man. Because obviously that's going to panic for eight. Right? So this will just panic on the unwrap. I need to know how far I need to have been since I match. And then somehow when I get a match, I need to look backwards, which might be okay-ish. Maybe. Are you working at a set resolution? Technically, no. Oh, this is so fucking dumb. Um... Hmm. If obviously that will fail if let some val is equal to last else we're doing the same fucking thing we had before. Sequence push. Print. O2x. Sequence. We want to take. Push. Push. Uh, I, I, I think I do need the like hex 80 in there. One, 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 one. Hmm. Zero, 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 one. Yeah, the hardest part is encoding the, like, one here. Uh, okay, what's the biggest blank space? One, two, three, four. 
I think four. One, two, three, four. It would be this line right here. Uh, actually, I want trailing. One, two, three. One, two. One. One, two, three. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. So there's a four. Um. Ah, right, here it is. If I minus last is equal to four. How much more data is that going to generate? Um, hmm. I think I actually want slightly different data in both of these. Um, else? Uh, pushes zero. Last is some I I. I I minus last dot unwrap, which could be zero. This is so jank. This is so jank. Uh, one. Oh, 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 one. Uh, and this is push one. Wait, no, 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 no. This is push. I, I minus last, I'll unwrap. Can I even get this information out of here? I think I, I think it should exist. <laughs> I think this information should be present. Um Oops. Last is equal to some I I push I unwrap. Uh Actually do I want Do I want it always like this? <laughs> can't make up my mind. I can't make up my mind. 1 2 Those would be eighty eighty, and then that would be one 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 one. Like, what am I actually computing here? Is the real question. Um, if that is. So this is like an eight center. One. One. Two. So this is like subtracting from the most recent one we've observed to try to tell us if somehow this can find. Oh, it's so weird. Can this work in all cases? Because I have... 
a blank. This will tell me... Because if I do 80 hex on these two, then I'm looking for this sequence, which is the distance... It's it's the distance from the most from the most recent match. But if this was solid, then it's going to be one as well. So I can't I can't do that. This last one has to be zero. Which means this information has to encode. That and the last one. Hmm. Because I need to know that the character, the, the last one was either out of bounds from the current glyph. Um. I th think there's nothing I can really do to save that info here. I think it's just purely about how I'm searching the data. So this is just indices of matches. That's all we have. So we have all the indexes of just the green letter payload. Um, so that's really easy. We just have an exact match there. And now what I want to do is come up with a way that we can, like, basically linearly search forwards for that sequence, but also not knowing when the sequence starts. I, I don't know if we can. Like, it, it may not be possible. I think that's the hard part here, is it literally may not be possible. Um, because, yeah, these would always be zeros. Yep. The interesting parts are the start and end cases. which is this. I think this sequence is just zero. Bam, 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 bam. Um, Elf eighty one. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to do this pretty cheaply. Uh, Update last, right away. Uh, if L sequence push, this is really funny. Uh, I am on a slide. I keep writing the same code because I, I think it is possible to do this in the way that, like, I have in my head. Um, push 80. And then in this case, it's... This can only happen at the start. And this... 
is going to tell me, like, it's really just on first match, I think. Is this. Right? I think it would be possible if you had to find the first match, work out the character width from that, and then skip ahead to what would be the start of the next character. But that would only work if you know how wide the characters are to begin with. Yeah, which I don't know. I just want to find all the characters on the screen first. Um, that's all I want to do, is literally just find all the characters on the screen. Um... If last is none, this. Yeah, I think this has all the information that I need. And this is basically saying there needs to not have been an index within the past one things. Then there must be a zero, a zero, a zero, a zero. So four indexes in a row. And then one index um, missing at the end. Thoughts? I got to figure out some food beer effect.
All right. Got some Eggos with peanut butter. The classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, should we think about this problem in a different way? Like, are we... I feel like it should be possible to find these with a linear forward scan. Hmm. Every way I can think of that would work would either be horribly slow or make assumptions I don't know are true. Yeah. Um. Yeah, maybe there isn't a solution. But I feel like I can have a small state machine. The really hard part is with Windows. If you can assume there's never overlap, such that you can, like, assume they're on a grid, I think it becomes a lot easier. Um... Is there any character that overlaps another character? In theory, yes, because there could just be, like, other stuff going on on the screen. Um, but neither character would have a perfect match, and I'd be okay, like, missing those. For what I care about, no, they can't. I only care about the digits. Which should make it a lot easier, I think. Oh. Um. Hmm. Because this could tell me that I need at least one missing and exactly one missing. And I could have some state machine that tracks the most recent match. Hmm. Haven't been able to follow along on everything, <clears throat> but if resolution and number sizes are static, could you not just make a window uh, the size of a digit and scan for matches? Yeah, you totally could. Like, <clears throat> but we're not um, we're not looking for a solution. We're trying to do like a specific. I, I want to do this with a forward linear pass, so no. No random accesses and no, uh, like, back searches. And I want to be able to look for all of the digits in one linear pass, or at least one digit at a time. I, I don't know. Um... But I also want to do it of this smaller array. Which is the, the hard part, right? Because obviously that would be a linear search. But that would require having, like, the whole image effectively. Um, I think if I included some context around the characters, it then becomes really easy. But I don't know how I'd want to do that. Hmm. Once again, not that any of this matters. Because this is just not the bottleneck. And it never will be. I'm gonna fish while I eat. It's just such an unnecessary over-engineering. 
but it is really interesting to always think about like how can you process like subsets of data and get the same results but yeah it is basically a run length encoded like output Which is what I'm thinking, and it's like, make a sequence of all of the, um, make a sequence of all of the known characters, or known pixel locations, and how long it has been since other stuff has existed. I think the key, the key here is to have the... I think if we run length encode it and just have um, also include how long the runs are where there aren't matches, I think that would be really easy. I don't know if it's possible. Well, obviously, it's possible to only have the present space. But I think the missing parts are what make it algorithmically a lot easier. So, yeah, I think if I just run length encode the whole thing, I think that becomes pretty easy. Which is kind of what I'm trying to do here, except I'm not counting the dead space. And I think the dead space is pretty important. The hard part about the match is you kind of have to have like a greater than or less than operator. Because some of them you're looking for a direct match and some of them you're not. Is this actually Desu? I think it, it, it might be if he's backseating this hard. But yeah, I think this is actually like algorithmically really cool. If you're run length encoding everything, including the dead space, I think I I think I understand probably what you're gonna do. But if you're doing this with only the matching parts being encoded, I think that becomes like really, really hard. This play this does kind of slap. I don't know. Uh oh. Mm. How about just detecting top left and bottom right to find matches? Um, the problem is that requires like non-linear access. Well, technically it is linear because you have just two different cursors scanning um but that's not enough unique information to identify to like fully identify them you need the dead space otherwise you're not representing the edge of the number i think so I think so. I mean, there still should be the same information in there. <clears throat> yeah, it, it should work without that because the dead space can be derived from 
the distance between the last two things. Now, is it worth omitting that information and having to like reconstruct and compute it? I don't think so. I think it's literally more expensive to not just save both the dead space and the present space. But you should be able to derive the dead space, in my opinion. I could be wrong. But yeah, I think I'll probably do it line by line and it, just run length and code it line by line. And then I'll do a linear scan of each line for line three. And then once I have a hit on that, then I'll look for a line five match and then I'm done. It should be like really fucking fast. One more waffle. Sorry, I was fucking starving. And I was cold. It got cold in here. I turned my, uh, I've been turning my heat down a bit because I know my dog's going to want it colder. So I've been trying to get used to it, but normally I kind of have it fairly warm. Oh. But yeah, I think if I do the dead space, I can do it line by line. I don't have to derive when the like lines start, the new like lines start and stuff like that. I think it'll just be better. It is an interesting problem. <laughs> mm. Mm. Waffles with peanut butter, man. They're so good. You're banking on the length of the run for the interior space. Yeah. <clears throat> Lines three and five are enough to uniquely identify a number. Yes. I wish my room was cold. Had to turn the AC on yesterday. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to AC season. But it's pretty short here. All right. Bear back. Come on. God damn it. I'm shivering so I can't even put the fucking headphone jack in. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, I think we could run length and code the lines. We could also just not give a shit about this problem and <laughs> actually just work on the game. There's a, there's a bunch of different ways we can approach this. Um, uh, 
scan the first hitting line, identify the length of the hit matches a known value, reconstruct the grid of that line, and look for the rest up in a constant. Yeah, basically, I think so. So let's let's do it. Let's run length and code this. Okay. RLE len is equal to zero. What if you pivot the rows and examine the center line? Are you saying like look for a, a vertically unique character? Um, but yeah, there could potentially be a vertically unique one, which would be really interesting. And I think possible. I, mm, that would be really interesting. <laughs> It looks like there is a vertically unique character for each. I think there might be. Let's see. Let's just relax, chat. Don't get don't get all excited. Just relax. Uh, so that's the line, line into six. Uh, line A. Uh. The one in nine recheck might not be worth the cost of checking if you have to recheck is expensive. But yeah, I can't go right through the center, you think? You think I can't like go slightly offset and be fine?
Um, working vertically, there are also holes. Yeah. Um, the black outline avoids that horizontally. I don't exactly know the rules of the black outline because it's kind of above and below, but it's not always where I would expect. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> Uh, one second. Half. Uh, okay. I'm talking with this dude about some, like, training theory stuff that I'm training with. <clears throat> um... Maybe it might be cheaper to check both columns for all numbers, as it would avoid branching. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be faster. Um... Will you be at offensive con? I will, yes. Um, the other issue with uh the vertical lines is that they're sparse. Right? Like they're not contiguous in memory. <laughs> and they won't be directly from the source. So yeah, like I could transform the screen. But that doesn't really help the fact that they're extremely sparse, right? Like, I would have to do a whole pass to just flip the screen first and then do another pass, right? So it's just probably not worth it at all to do anything vertically. That's why I've only been focusing horizontally. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to describe uh, damage to this guy. Feel like you gotta change the working in bits. Bits are pretty much never worth it. Um, 
especially in this case. If they were divisible by like four or eight or something, sure. Um, but they're not. So you would have to do like rotations and stuff. It, it's it's counterintuitive, but working with bits is pretty much never good. <laughs> Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to write up the, these formulas for this guy quick. I gotta, I gotta implement, uh, how I did this in code. Damage sim source this. Raw attack. So these are the formulas that are reversed out of the game that are like the original ones. Um, but the um let's see. Have you already done the optimization of only working with pixels rather than real pixels? I mean I'm only working with coordinates of matching pixels. I, I've I've already minimized it down other than the fact that I could compress the index into a smaller than a U size thing. Um okay, how do we describe this formula to someone who can't read code? Uh what is this actually doing? Um five times skill plus fifty times weapon attack. So this is 5 times skill plus 50 um, times weapon attack. That's V4. And then V5 is equal to uh, Rand 0 to 99. Uh, 0 to... No. 0 to 99. And then we roll for um let's see, Rand ninety-nine, so that's like the roll. It rolls again up to a hundred. And adds that. Oh, it averages two rolls. What does that do? Um, that makes a. Is that a normal distribution? It makes like a, a central biased rand, right? Um. Yeah, there's no way this the server I'm on right now is doing this shit. Uh, but yeah, that's what that's doing, right? It's picking two rolls and averaging them. Right? Rand mod 100, Rand mod 100 plus 5, divided by 2. So two Rands, the average of two randoms... Wait, what? It, wait, is that the behavior of that? Um, and the I-64 is only positive. Um, 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 um. Yeah, that should be biased towards the center. What does that look like? <laughs> Anyone have a good idea of what the distribution is? Okay, we'll do uh, four blah and zero and a... Uh, we can probably do a hundred mil, right? Normal is it fully normal? Bins 
Uh, Rand random mod 100 plus Rand random mod 100 divided by 2 plus equals 1 for Ben. I, I, Ben, and Ben's dot iter dot enumerate. Um, Ben, uh, I, I, three. Four blah in zero two Um, oops. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Uh, bin as F64, uh, times probably a hundred's okay here. SU32, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. print, print, uh, print, uh, print, uh, panic. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Oh, U size is fine. Technically, it's slightly different. <laughs> Do the modulo. Okay, definitely need to multiply that more. That makes sense. 100 times 100. Okay, that was too much. A little less. <laughs> Woo! That... I don't know if that's normal, chat. I don't know if that's normal. I feel like it's not. Maybe it is. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then I almost got a fish again. It's a triangle? Are you saying that from this, or are you saying that it... 100% it, it is a... You know, fuck you guys. I'm just going to do it. Because you guys just always are going to come in here with your smart attitudes. <sighs> Flimmy. Flimmy. Cargo ad rand. Vim. Source. Main. Hey, paste, delete, 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 10,000, 10,000, print, bin, uh, big number, print land, cargo, run, release, fuck you. Cargo, run, release. We're going to increase N because we can. And then we'll plot it.
plot log dot text the uh, set term wix size 1440 by 900 persist set grid using one two with line canoe plot plot dot plot not what i wanted to do uh Okay, and then I need to uh, go into. It's a tr it's a tr it's a tr it's a, tr it's a triangle. It's a triangle. It's it's a triangle. It's a triangle. Chat, it's a it's a triangle. Apparently I can't quit GNU plot. <laughs> Don't know why. It's an interesting scenario. Um Ah fuck. Gotta run make. Now we gotta now we gotta build it again, Rust. <laughs> Damn shame I don't have a way to clip that. Yeah, ha, see? See? You're wrecked. I gotta fish again, chat. Perfect time to fish. Fishing takes a lot of focus, chat, okay? Oh, come on. Come on. Nice. 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 Ooh, three in a row. Overfished. Who said to you? That sounds like a cover. That's uh first to eleven has to be, right? Yeah, it's first to eleven. Love's evil spy. Oh my god, where are the fucking fish? Crush. Tell me why you call me even when I'm around. Boop, boop. 
boop, boop, boop. Okay, we got enough fish for now. RNG giving some triangle vibes, right? Um. Okay. What, 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 what were we doing, chat? Oh, we're doing this shit. Oh, I forgot. I hated this. Um. RLE mode is equal to false. No match. Or I guess, yeah. RLE mode is equal to... Uh, it doesn't matter. False. RLE mode is equal to true. Uh, RLE len plus equals one. Else. False. Uh, mm, is greater than zero. RLE len is equal to zero. Uh, out, oops. Output dot push. RLE mode. RLE len. RLE len is equal to zero. Oh, if early mode. If early mode is not early mode. That's probably a terrible way of doing run length encoding. Can't say I really give a shit. Um. Okay, uh, mode is false. This is really cool. I've never done Arlie as much as I hate this code. Um, we're gonna try this. Oh, and we're gonna do this per line. But yeah, sorry, I'm like distracted trying to figure out if I wanna tell this guy like how to train. Um, obviously he's good at training. He's been training a shit ton, but he's, we're using like really high armor and doing really high damage, which means that we're dealing a lot of variants. So sometimes we'll like draw down a lot more on each other. And the way that you mitigate that is you use the least amount of armor and the, the least powerful weapon because armor does between half of its armor value and all of its armor value as a random amount of defense blocked. So, or damage blocks. So the more armor you have, by nature, the wider that range has to be if you're drawing blood. So like, it's just really stupid to use really powerful weapons because we're just taking... When we take blood, we're taking like 10 damage instead of one damage. Um, but the thing is, I want to also do this, because this is part of training efficiency, is understanding blood hits. And I need to understand the formulas on the actual server to give true advice of what's actually correct to do. <laughs> um, okay, is this how you do run length encoding? I think so. If Arli len is greater than zero... Um, just push the mode and thing. Uh, Zen DNA. False, and then we had six matches, then no matches, I think. I think I implemented this correctly. Arlie length starts at zero. Mode starts in false. Unconditionally, the mode will be set before output is pushed because Arlie line is zero. So length is... Uh, so nothing can get pushed. The first character will set the mode. If it's a match, it's in true mode. And we have one true character. Um, and then here, we're in false mode. And we have one character. And then here we 
when we change modes, when we're going through a mode change, we um when we go through a mode change, we push the previous mode and the previous length that was accumulated. I'm pretty sure this is just how you how you do it, right? I'm gonna put semis on these. Um and then at the very end, flush out anything remaining from whatever the final mode is. So the end should pretty much always have like a lot. The start and end should always be big entries. Yep, bunch of falses. And then yeah, there's all the data. So that looks really good. That looks really good. Um, I think we also want to store... Do we want to do this per line, chat? I don't think we want to do this per line because that adds another pointer to ref. Um... So we're going to process this into, wouldn't it also be smart to store the x, y of the start along with the length? Um, oh, basically remove this or whatever? I don't know yet. I don't know. Keep in mind that's increasing the amount of data that you have to search through. So it's increasing how sparse these accesses are. Um Need a lot of cards. Sleep to you. Um, and then let's check this dude's skills so we know what his skills are. Sixty-four. Okay, so he is uh, 12 attack, uh, 664 axe. So I'm able to see the damage he's doing in a log to me. So I'm going to be able to save that log um, and see how much simulation matches up. So basically, I'm just starting to collect some data right now that I'm going to collect with screen scraping. Screen scraping will allow me to check outbound data. Right now, inbound data is really easy. So I'm going to be able to collect data off of him without him even knowing I'm collecting data off of him. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Um, what information do we need in here? Uh, technically, this is it. No way. No way! If we're doing a linear scan, we can accumulate our own index. So we don't have to... Hmm. But do we want to... Yeah, because I think we do, a, like, a look-ahead. A, a linear look-ahead. If we have a match. So we, we search for a match on our line. Um, and then all these are the same height? Yes. Perfect. Um, if all of the, uh, and we're saying they have the same width. 
They all have the same height, so they all have at least one character. So we should be able to special case the start and ends where we don't have to do a less than and greater than. Basically, I really don't want to dynamically have to know, like, right? Because the thing is, in my template, I'm going to have something where it's like false two, true six. Well, never that, but like false two, true two, right? And I'm going to have that in my list for the individual characters and fonts. But that kind of doesn't make any sense for the start and the end. Well, only the start. So the start needs a special case where if a font starts with a false, then it m is just a, a greater than or equal to where it must have at least two falses before it, but then all the other ones? Oh, yeah, you also need the special case a uh, less than on the last one. Because here it needs to be at least two, but I think both of them, right? So we'll be able to special case those so we don't have to dynamically know if we're at the start or the end of our sequence, right? So we're pushing this like run length encoded thing and we could compress that and we'll do that once we once we algorithmically solve the problem, we can worry about like data packing and shapes of data, right? Because algorithmically you're going to be doing the exact same operation. So there's no reason in my opinion to like I pretty much never will optimize data layouts until later stages. Because until I have something that works and is, like, easier to reason about, I don't really want to, like, hyper-optimize it. Like, I would never implement something like this vectorized first. I would always, like, do it unvectorized and then vectorize it afterwards. Okay. So, now what we need to do is we need to run length and code our, uh, our font. Right. Um. And they should always the start and end. Hmm. Yeah, how do I... I kind of have to make these characters one character wider, right? And is that always the case? Is there always a one character gap? And I imagine the answer is yes. Technically, I'd need to do a permutation of all of these, not just this linear sequence. But I think there should always be one pixel in between. Which I think will make implicit. Or do we want to make that explicit? Like, do we want to say the font stuff? Hmm, fuck. <laughs> These decisions are so hard. <laughs> Why are we optimizing this? There's no reason. <laughs> this doesn't need perf. Fuck. Oh. So let's write something that can do RLE. All right. If I were making the game, I would ensure that there was never yellow touching. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like this game has fantastic fonts. So I highly doubt that that would exist because that would be so noticeable to me. I would be like, wow, that looks like shit. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say all of these have a border. Uh, so we're going to make a run length encoding function. This is going to, um, we're actually going to make Boolean. Boolean run length encoding. This is the dankest shit you've ever seen. 
Uh, bull, you size. Um, and then, uh, uh, sequence. And then a vec of T's. And we have a T. And then, uh, uh, and then a funk, uh, which imples, uh, something that takes in a T and produces a bool. You, you and me both, Zana Blaino. But the problem is, like, most people don't seem sensitive to fonts. Which is wild to me. Like, people use just straight-up blurry-ass fonts. And, like, not think anything about it. It's fucking insane, dude. Um... Let mute ret is equal to vec new. Is this like the most optimal way we can do RLE chat? Oh yeah, and you know exactly what we're gonna do up here. So just, just hold, hold. Uh, mute vec eight. Uh, bull you size. Yeah, we ain't returning shit. Why can't I up arrow? Okay, weird. Um, unless I was and it was just blinking. Uh, this is going to go through for I I. Do I need I I anymore? No, for val in sequence. We're gonna take that in by refi impl as ref a slice of t's sequence as ref dot iter take a ref sequence boop 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 if funk val then we switch to true mode otherwise stay in false mode uh flush anything remaining at the end as we're i'm usually not too sensitive to fonts but if it's that large i am yeah Uh, ret. Oops. Clear output. Uh, then we're going to uh, state. Really, this is going to check if there is a mode change. If uh, or check the mode. Actually, we can make this way better, can't we? Um, check if there is a mode change. If funk is not equal to early mode, change mode. Early mode is equal to not early mode. Length plus equals one. Okay, if early len is greater than zero, um, flush data. So if there is data, only if there is data. So if there is data, um, If there's shit to push, 
because initially there isn't. So initially, if there's immediately a mode change, we don't want it to push a, a false zero. So if there is data here, push the mode and then swap modes and then plus equals one. So we increase the, the length of what we've observed of that new mode. So this is tracking the length of the current mode. And yeah, I think that logic is correct, right? We start off. If there's a mode change, only push data if there is. If there is data, then push it. Otherwise, change the mode. And then update the length. And then at the very end, if there's anything remaining, then flush that out. And then you're done. And there we go. No allocations at all in this function. So this is pretty fast in the grand scheme of things. The only thing in this code that I really don't like is um, this early len greater than zero check. And I'm kind of curious if I'd rather do like an ii uh, check where basically I have like sequence as ref iter, like basically where it knows the first iteration of the loop because that only can be relevant the very first iteration of the loop, if that makes sense, right? So like, I don't like that. I know Rust is probably not going to hoist that if statement out when it could. Um, since unconditionally, it goes plus one here, right? Now I could maybe refactor this where I push this down and then I subtract one from the line. I, I, I don't know. I, I think I like doing it above more. You can do it pre or post. If you do it post, then this block doesn't need to exist, but this block doesn't run inside the loop, which is nice, right? Like that, that, those are the decisions that you have to make when you're optimizing just random stupid shit like this is like, where do you want to do your checks? And you want to do your checks outside the loop. And it's like, okay, so I, I'm doing this one outside the loop, but that means that I have to do this one inside the loop because otherwise I'd have to special case, like the first iteration of the loop is different, right? Um, now, obviously, a compiler should be able to solve this. It, it's a pretty simple problem. The thing is, I just don't think most compilers do solve problems like, like this. What does one look like? This. So it's only four wide. So it, it's the only one that's not exact doesn't use all six wide. Right? So that kind of is annoying, but it shouldn't matter with this technique, in my opinion. Um, anyways, so yeah, if we wanted to move, if we wanted to move this if statement out of the loop, then we would need to kind of duplicate some code and it's kind of annoying. Well, what would that look like? What would that look like? So we would do, um, here's something that I like, like to do, is take the old implementation and use it as a reference. Um, I solved it, but I have false positives. Using two lines is not sufficient? Really? Are you assuming uh, one pixel of border? Um, Boolean early. Uh, Boolean early. Temp two. Uh, yep, sequence, then output. So, cont array chunks four. Yeah, I guess I'll want that to take uh, impl iterator. Um, then we want the output. 
And then we want our closure. Uh, ref X is equal to this. Assert. Oh, and then Boolean Arlie 2. Assert temp1 is equal to temp2. Not looking at the border, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like you definitely need more lines without the border. But with the border, I don't think you do. Um... What's this bitching about? Oops. Uh, impl iterator. Uh, yeah. Two thirteen as ref. Oh, yep, got to do it for both functions. <sighs> Boolean Arley two. Same thing. That's one downside of when you duplicate code like this. Uh, must be known at this point. Iterator? Uh, item? Is it item? Yeah, I think so. 260. Okay, we're going to get rid of all this code. We're going to get rid of this code. This code. All right. Funk val. Val. So we're going to try two different implementations of this. I'm curious which one will be better. Ref. Um, okay, double amper, I guess. Kind of gross. 45, uh, ooh. Do I need to do that? Do I need to say it's a ref T? Oh, God, don't make me do lifetimes on this. I never use iterators. Yep, lifetime. Um, is that what you want? I thought. Uh, yeah, is there like a ref iterator that you're supposed to use? Iterator. Because iterator just gives you items. Next gives you item by own. Yep. We'll just do this. It's fine. Not losing sleep over it. A ref A. Might as well be explicit on the lifetime on that one. All right. God damn it. Um, yeah, bruh, bruh, uh, oh, 
not FN once, just FN. I don't like FN and FN mute. It's really annoying. It makes sense, but it's really annoying. Now we don't have double, which is good. Much better. Okay, now that those agreed, now what we should be able to do is try the like pre-index version. So we do this. It's like if there was a, so increment the length. Uh, and then if there was a mode change, yeah, but we still have to do a check on that. Dude, there's no difference. It doesn't fucking matter. The only way you can make it faster is hoisting out of the loop, uh, intentionally. Um, okay. Let's do Boolean RLE output. Let me output is equal to fact new. Bam. Okay, can get rid of this. I'll keep it. We might use it, but I don't think we'll. Okay, so we find the window. We take a screenshot of it. We get the width and the height, uh, which we do need at some point. And then we do our Boolean RLE. So we uh, compress the um, text. It's actually really cool. Yeah, just fucking compress the text. I am really curious what kind of code gen this is giving. Um, Okay, good. It's inlining that. Um, uh, Ravek. This in main? No. This is main. Oh, bro, how are you not vectorizing this? I mean, I guess it's kind of hard. It's fine. It's fine, chat. It's fine. It's fine. We're at the whim. We're at the whim of fucking LVM. We expect bad code gen. Okay, there's nothing we can do. Um. Okay, um, compress that, and then we want to compress. I mean, I could just compress the whole uh, glyph, right? We'll start with that. How, how big is the screen compressed? Uh, I'll put that one. It's gonna be really interesting. Um, let's go back into capture mode. One. Not a single thing on there. <laughs> I'm not in the FF mode, but yeah, I mean, I'm not talking about anything. Screen size five, yep. And then let's see. I'm gonna try and run this when someone does damage. There we go. Yep, that was damage. So 27. So it got it got big when damage was happening. But yeah, it's it's tiny otherwise. So this is actually really, really, really cool. 
Okay, four, uh, digit in font. Four digit in font. Oh, and we'll just do this, yep. Okay, let for line in digit. Oh, uh, four. We'll just do line three. Right, that should be line three. The screenshot is at least 10x slower than anything you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I, I know, okay? I know. I'm not happy about it. Line three. Comparison function is going to be if it's equal to uh, X. These should all be tiny. Sorry, compressing line three of all of the digits. Line three, uh, slice. Can I just iter directly on array? I think I can. Yeah. Three, 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 five, three, two. Six. Zero, one, two, three. Yep, there's none at the start. Um, never that. <laughs> it's funny to hear English singers sometimes. Um, We're going to assume book ending. And we're going to do that by doing chain uh dot um once dot chain dot chain once now don't write don't write iterator code in rust because you're gonna get bad code gen um but we're gonna give this uh we're gonna give this a, a try okay um Oh, whoop, floop, and floop. Oh, you bitch. Oh, because I guess once is specifically, it's the T, not the ref. Hey, let's go. We're making code that's usable. Okay, now they should always have a first and a last, right? Um the character assuming that there's always at least one pixel before and after the font uh one unrelated pixel okay so now all of these will have i think they should always be an odd number uh, why do i think that is that True? No, that's not true.
Um. Then we do a. Uh, is it brain bending to debug? <laughs> yeah, you like this, dude? I'm glad that I wasn't an idiot for thinking that it was like kind of a hard thing to think about. Um. Let's see what the compressed data looks like for each character. And then all we need to do is we need to um, search. Oh, is the second one always going to be true? It's always, yes. The second index will always be true. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to like this. Um. <laughs> One of those problems that is easy in theory, but in practice, why is it such a pain in the ass? Yeah, I have no idea. I think there's just a lot of edge cases and off by ones in places where it like subtly can be wrong. When it's not, I think, I think the worse you are at programming, the easier this is to reason about, because you're probably, you probably haven't made the same mistakes in like every single aspect of implementing something like this, so you're not even thinking about avoiding the mistakes. And it's like, oh, off by ones? Does it matter if they're, like, line-based? Do I have to store the index or the x, y? Do we need the deltas here? Is this field always going to be true? <laughs> like... I feel like that's a big problem with, like, leet code, uh, like, interview sort of things, is they really punish people for being skeptical of their code, right? It, it, the whole goal is you're supposed to come out there and throw your dick on the table and, and confidently scribble some shit out. And if it has some errors, they're going to poke you into the right direction. But if you try to, like, do it clean or right the, the first go, you're going to get punished because you're going to take so fucking long because you're going to, like, think about a couple things and they don't want you to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a terrible practice for finding good devs. IMO. Uh, I feel like big tech interviews, the way that random college kids would think that good development looks like. <laughs> It's like, how many big O notation algos have you memorized? Sick! <laughs> Sick! Big ooga booga mindset. I took a screenshot of each image and moved it around until I found where it matched. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Um. Okay. So we have this result. Uh, we know it's always false than true. So a digit can't start on a true. So for uh, value in output, how many lines of code is Desi's shit heap? Ah, oh, looks fine. Ooh, II minus one? Ooh, see, I don't want to do an II minus one type beat.
Dancing in numbers. I really want to do this fully sequential. And we can do that by saying um, Boolean and uh, length. And then we're going to latch a result if Bruh. Fucking I I minus one continue. You think you think you you think you think you're gonna pull a fast one on me, Desu? Boolean. Uh, last Zula, none. If. Hmm. <laughs> it is sequential. I mean, I I assume I I assume it should be. I like your image. <laughs> I minus last, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 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 um. A character match can only start on a false. If boolean Oof, that's a bad last bug. Uh, uh if boolean Uh If boolean Mm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. If boolean, uh, if latched, ah, fucking hell. Uh, this starts off with if not boolean. If not boolean, then, uh, we could, uh, if not boolean, and not latched. If not, mmm, 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 mmm. We'll do it naive first. If boolean and not latched, and then we'll improve the code. Um, if it's not boolean and it's not latched. Um, check for a uh, start. If line, if comp, if the compressed data's, uh, length is equal to the length, oh, fuck me. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, no, 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 no. No 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 if not latched we're making a state machine uh if we're not latched and not boolean then if comp zero dot zero is greater than or equal to length latched is equal to true. So if it's not, if we're not currently doing a comparison, if we're not doing a comparison, and we could start a new character, then if the current false streak is at least long enough 
to satisfy the full street at the start of the character, which would normally be like one, which that would always be the case. But if this is two, then there needs to be preceding characters. Then we're going to latch. And this is uh, found a candidate for a character match. Right? So now we're in latched mode. If latched, uh, and then we continue. Because that implies the first one. Um, let mute. Um, I, I is equal to one. This is the compare I, I. Right, so we now set that to one, so we know that we're looking for a comparison now. So now if we're latched, if um, yep, this needs to happen first, I think. If we are latched, because we might start a new character match right away, right? If there's like one pixel in the middle of fucking nowhere, we might just immediately start that operation. So if we're latched, if comp ii is equal to uh, the length, is equal to the length, then ii plus equals one continue. This won't have uh, handle overlap. And I don't know if you can handle overlap without rewinding. Um, well, you could by having like uh, different state slots, but I, I don't think that's more performant than rewinding at that point. Um, if we're latched and we had a match, otherwise, uh, no match, go back to unlatched mode. Latched is false. Right? So if we're latched, we're then checking that the length matches, and if it does, we increase the matches. Um, I, I plus equals one. Continue. Um, if I, I is equal to, um, ba, 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 ba. if this is equal to, I got a fish in a minute here. Um, if I is equal to the length of compare uh, panic, that's a full match at that point. Uh, comp dot zero. If the length is large enough to start, then latch is equal to one. And then here, oh, go through to the end. And then this needs to handle the last part of the character. So this would have, this we want. Um. This is interesting because now this is the end case because the end case also needs to be a greater than comparison. Um, matched to II. No matches? No matches? What? Oh, 
Oh, whoa. If length is equal to that. Woo! If the length of the actual image is larger than this, then it's good. Son of a bitch. If not latched and not boolean. Yep, okay, so we start. Okay. What's this not happy about here? II is one, continue. Comp II dot one, length. Uh, what? How? How is that possible? Yeah, that's true. How is that so big? Oh, fuck. Am I, like, pushing the wrong thing? No. Um. Uh. Output. Gonna go way off the screen. Yeah. That kind of doesn't make sense. Shouldn't all the trees be like really small, basically? No. Because I don't reset it to zero. Arlie len is equal to zero. Once I push it. Chat, why didn't no one point that out? Uh, okay. Woof. Big woof. And there's our panic. Bam, let's go. Let's go. Matched. Um, well, we kind of don't expect that to happen, to be honest. Oh, with eight, zero, one, two, three. Yeah, with eight, that could, with eight that happens because of this. But, like, we couldn't do this on zero. This would fail on zero. Right? So this won't work on zero. Son of a bitch. Is there uh, another zero somewhere? Oh, it's matching on, like, this. Right? On eight. Um, okay. Okay. Well, let's just print the number of matches, and then we'll do uh, latch is equal to false. And then continue, because it's implied. Um, we actually want to break immediately after that. Or we... Else... Continue. But this logic is not correct yet. Uh, how many matches do we get? Uh, dude, this Elga is sick. Funny thing is, most programmers would just throw OpenCV at the problem. The problem is, like, OpenCV wouldn't even be good at this. IML. IMHO. I got a fish. I feel like every time I've used, like, AI image stuff, it's always been, um... Or I guess OpenCV is not AI, is it considered? But, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's more fuzzy than I like. Like, I wouldn't be tackling this problem if this was, like, a variable size font. 
right? I'm doing this explicitly because it's a bitmap font. Obviously, this is for this specific problem. I just don't see, think OpenCV is good at that sort of thing. Like, algorithmically, I feel like it would be doing something way, 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 way more complex than this. For kind of no reason. It would probably do, like, full sub-image searches, I would imagine. Right? Because it doesn't know that it could do this. I can't imagine that this is a general purpose uh, technique. Especially when you have, like, multiple colors and stuff. But you could probably apply some sort of transforms to, like, make it somewhat viable. I'm getting pretty good fish here. Like, three or four fish more. This isn't a cover. Done. Bam! Away from everybody. Image segmentation is super similar to what you're doing. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, so we have all these matches, and now uh, we need to handle the last case. So if we wickle this, we'll see that it is going to be too few. It's 27. We're going to fix that. If ii is equal to comp len, um, potentially... Um, Compline minus one. Last check, uh, only needs to check for, um, um, is bounded. Last check is bounded. Uh, if comp I I is equal is less than or equal to the length. So if the length... Yeah, it's the same as this. Then... Um, that is the end. Otherwise, this comparison, which I don't like that... But whatever. Uh, okay. Let's uh, see if we can slightly optimize that. Um, exact length matches inside the character. Last check is bounded. And then this is a break. Or I continue. Oops. Yes. So, um, there is a match. We keep going. And if, if this broke it, we actually don't continue. We fall through. We disabled latched. And we unlatch because we've mismatched. And then we potentially start looking again. So if we just broke it on a false, we can potentially immediately start looking for the character again, right? Um, if length, if that is equal to length, plus equals one, uh, and then for the very last one, if the length exceeds what is needed, then we have a full match. Latched goes false. And we uh, still want to fall through there. It's really just here, where we've guaranteed that we've continued a match. So we can't start a new one. Okay, now it's 52 instead of 27. 
because we fixed that issue. Now we should be finding all instances of the the line three. Okay. Right? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Now... Life still alive. Latch is false. I think this is the correct logic. I'm going to change it to this to be slightly different shape. But yeah, I think this works, right? First iteration, it's implied, it must be in false state. We, If the length exceeds the expected amount, then we had enough there to start a character. We start the character, we start on the next index, we continue, we then check if we're in the latch state, which we will be now. Um, if we're not at the last part, then... Um, if we're not at the last part, then we need an exact match of all of the things until the last one. Increment the number of matches. Immediately hot pat the loop. If that failed, um, if that comparison failed, then no match. Go back to unlatch code. Otherwise, the very end. If it's large, if if it's big enough for what we need, then we have that's the complete match done. We unlatch at that point because we could immediately start another character. Um, if the length exceeds that. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure this logic is correct. This is basically substring matching of RLE, right? That is my interpretation, is this should be effectively a perfect implementation of substring matching of RLE given given the sequence that you're looking for starts and ends on a false. Always. Right? In which case, I think this is correct, and it's honestly really fast. Like, this should be really fast. The only things that are kind of tough is this, like, tricky edge case, which is only at the end, but you kind of have to do that inside the loop if you're looking for all matches. So, now, what we're gonna do is, um, um, we're gonna do four line in, font digit uh we really just want line three and line line uh five was it i think three and five in my opinion that's all we're supposed to want but maybe, maybe i'm wrong um okay and let mute um pixel index is equal to zero and then pixel index plus equals uh, length. Right? Pixel index plus equals length. And that should be the entire length of our array at the end. Um, and let's see. Let's try a more unique digit. Um, I think four. I don't think anything has uh, anything like four does. Zero, one, two, three. Yeah, with the weird gap in there. Four matches of that. Okay. 
Let's find out where. Um. Uh, matched at blah. I uh. Blah blah. Pixel index minus eight. Pretty sure it's pixel index minus eight divided by width. Should be, or mod width for X. And then Y should be this. Uh. Four. Oh, wickle. Okay, five fourteen two twenty six. Uh, let's see if I can get a. Um. I want like coordinate stuff. I don't know. Maybe we just go into uh. I think we just go into GIMP. Seems like GIMP's going to work better for us here. Oops. Okay. Let's get... Uh... And then are these zero zero top left? Zero zero one one two two. Perfect. Okay, so this is saying it found one at five fourteen two sixty six. Five fourteen two sixty six. Okay. Uh it can't be there. Um am I not supposed to minus eight? Oh, I need to minus a, a shit ton more. Um right? Minus length to undo that? And then minus seven? I think this is correct. 508. Two sixty six. Blank, 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 blah, blank, blah, blah, blank. Is that a two? Is that the two? Blank, 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 blah, blah, blank. Isn't that what I said? Am I looking at the right spot? Zero, one, two, three. Are we even doing two? No, we're doing four. Right? This is four. Take that on to an adventure. Oh, we can also just check if it matched on that one as well. Uh, 278. 4, 478. 276. Um... I guess I want to subtract six, I think. Am I just guessing? Yes. Four, 
479276. Blank, blank, blah. Blank, blah, blah, blank. Blank. 509. Blank, blank, blah, blank, blah, blah, blank, blank. Yeah. Yep. Yep, so it matched. Okay, good. 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 So it looks like this is uh working for the single single line checks and my view is that all i should need is just the two lines so then i would want to advance matched on an e and a four yeah but once again i only have to care about numbers so it's not really accurate right Right. Nice. So now there's no no false positives, obviously. Um, but there will be false positives when we go through all of the characters because we have to look for, in our opinion, multiple lines. So this should be matched digit at this. Yep. Bunch of nine matches, bunch of zero matches, bunch of one matches. Is four, Did I happen to pick the only unique one? I mean, I guess I intentionally was looking for the unique one. Okay. So now, all I have to do is... um, I have to do the same matching logic but at a much more specific location. And I think... Do you know you drive me crazy? I'm in my head. But boy, we going there? And Desu seems to think that I need multiple, more than just the two. So I should probably write the code with that in mind. Um, let's see. Let's start with line zero. Well, I tell you, my friend, one day this world's going to end. It's going to be down. Fine. Okay. So we're going to try and do complete letter matches just so we can start with uh thoroughness and then we'll we'll drop more and more and more. Man, when have arrived. Then Um, compute start of the la. Uh, I really want to know where the match is, and we know that this is computes the pixel index of the start of the match. Deny. Is this, is the last match uh, pixel, match index is equal to pixel index minus 
the length minus comp i i dot one. So basically subtracting off the number that were not used. So this is unmatched, right? So anything greater than comp dot one is not used in the comparison. Um, and thus, we basically will consume that here and we'll say the pixel index minus unused. And that should be the pixel after the last match, in my opinion. Uh, Mitch index, Mitch index, which then means that we should be able to, uh, okay, four, four, shit, um, four should be matching on 479, oh, yep, 487. Yes, it's one after. So if we subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that should leave us at the start, right? So this is the actual uh, pixel index of the start of the top left of the glyph. Right. 479, 273. Which is this. Yep, that's what we expect. It's one pixel before the meet because we have one pixel prior to the meet and one pixel after the meet. So it should be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pixels of total total space. Ah? Technically, we should go one line above and below and make sure that there's nothing above and below, too. Take it out. Um, is the font fixed with? No. Bob boy, break. Down. Yeah, we were taking some liberties on one. We still haven't figured out how we want to solve the one issue. That's the only one that's not six, I think. Yep. 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 Yeah, they're all six, and it looks like there's always one pixel between them. I imagine they probably don't nestle into each other. I don't think it's that type of uh, font. So, yeah, there's probably always one pixel left between each character. That's probably how they do spacing, and one is going to be the only special case. Every other one will be fine. Without the top and bottom overlapping number would be a problem. Well, we don't, there won't be overlapping numbers. So, right now, the, technically in the original Tibia client, there are overlapping numbers, but that's a completely different hard problem on its own right. So, we're just going to assume that they never overlap. Um, let's see. What else have we learned here, chat? So now we want to, we want to know where we're looking for match is. Match machine is equal to vec new. We're going to have a match machine. 
my code won't handle the spacing on one correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's tough. Okay, now um just need to make a state machine per per line. Um Match machine. I think match machine is just kind of the same thing. Comp zero. Um, so we have no candidate matches. So we need the ability to always potentially add a candidate match. Um, 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 Overlapping numbers would actually be a really fun problem, to be honest. But we're not going to do that. All right, how do, how do I want to implement this? Uh, match machine. just do a uh, new match oops honestly honestly I think I think I think it's going to be faster to go through another round of metadata and processing. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Whoa. That digit. Okay. Um scoop dupe. And then uh we want to do this per digoid. Um latched ten. Oops. 10. Okay. Ugh. I don't know if I like this. That's redoing a lot of work. I think that's bad. Um, but you kind of have to, right? Um, we'll start with shit code and improve it. Uh, Actually, I think it, it's faster to do the digit on the outside. Um... What are we going to do here? Latch. If it's equal to one, plus equal to one. Hmm. 
New match. New match. New match. Hmm. Trying to think if it'd be worth looking for the characters in parallel. I, I, I genuinely don't think so. I think it will be faster to look at them basically sequentially like I'm doing here. Um, But that's tough. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's too, too many variables in that. Um... Honestly, I think look ahead will also be faster than state. Like, I don't know if I want to actually do one iteration. I think I might want to jump back. I want to always be reading it forwards. I want to always be reading it forwards. I don't think it's worth doing a binary search. Oh, this is so interesting. Hmm. Oh. oh, this is really cool. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I think it's time to move this into a function. I think as is. Is what I want to do here. I think I just want to make RLE match here. I'm doing a bit of backtracking, but not much. Yeah. It's tough because state machines are, like, going to be dynamic length. And I, I think it might literally be slower because anything with dynamic lengths is going to have length checks fucking everywhere. Binary search is unnecessary for the number of elements. Yeah, I agree. Uh, FN boolean RLE compare. Um, do I want to do compare or substr? Because I could track all of the different lines matches, but I also could filter looking for the other lines, which I think is better. Which means backtracking. Basically, I could build a database and I could match on all of the lines in parallel, right? And then I could, from that metadata, construct which ones actually stack up to form a valid character. The problem with that is the first line is already doing such an astronomical amount of filtering that it's kind of pointless to be searching for all of them when you could immediately filter out searches because you're only looking at substrings when you're doing um this i i think that's i think i want to do yeah i want to do like uh find boolean early uh find the index of the first match of a substring right We'll see if I like this, but the goal is we'll only have to search forwards once we have a match on one line. And we only have to search forward in the stream. So we're still doing purely linear accesses with rewinds, 
But the only time we have a rewind is when we're starting to find a character. And at that point, the logic is starting to get expensive anyway. So who cares, right? Um, Haystack, which is an Impel Azref, uh, Bool, U-Size, uh, Needle, Impel, Azref, Bool, and U-Size. Returns an option, U size. Okay. So that's going to Arlie the character. So you know what we're looking for. Okay, um, let haystack is equal to a haystack as ref haystack needle G. Output becomes haystack. Comp becomes needle. Needle. Needle and needle. I think I actually really like my logic here. Uh, slice. Scoop. Um, Match index. Pixel index starts at zero. This is going to be an offset index, which makes sense for an API perspective. Uh, compute the first index of that. 65 matched digits. Uh, I don't know what we're matching for yet. It's probably not even the best way to solve the problem. Simply doing naive matching would be faster. Which which one do you mean? Like the whole RLE thing itself? I think the RLE thing has to be really good. The RLE stuff, I think, has to be good. But I think doing, like, a lot of parallel stuff is probably not. I don't know how delayed you are. I think the delays are kind of long on this stream thing. I'll try, like, the lower latency stuff in future streams and see what happens. Um, 232. New match. Uh, yep. This is going to be font for zero. Okay. And then this is on a match return some Mitch index. None. No match found. I tried low latency mode, but it kept buffering. Yeah. That's probably more the browser. I'm not sure. Early is fun and fast, but matching an area of pixels is just so simple. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is completely unnecessary. But I think it has to be, has to be faster. But yeah, do I need it? No, absolutely not. None of this do I need. I could write this in fucking Python and it would be fast enough. Like, does not matter. Um, 
It's just a fun problem, to be honest. Boolean Arlie find. I want to search the output. Uh, I want to search the output for the comp. Is that what the function takes? Looks like 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty long. I think a lot of that delays on my end. Kind of depends if you have MPV, I'd imagine. If you're using MPV, you probably have more of the raw stream. Okay, there we go. That found a match. So, and that would make sense. Four digit in zero to 10. So this is going to find the first occurrence. Of that digit. Not going to find all the digits. Yeah, just in a browser. Yeah. Okay. So I think that is working for substrings. Uh, this assumes the substring starts with a false and ends with a false, which is pretty important. Live more than most rabbits will have life. And she knows how to believe. Um, Boolean RLE, RLE length, look for the thing. VLC is a few seconds behind, oh nice. So yeah, it must just be the browser then. I'm curious if it drifts with time or something. How to believe in futures. Oh, a few seconds behind the browser. I see, I see. P ping. 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 Um. I also have to know not just the index, but the, the uh, haystack index that we're on. So I know where we can say that the match ended. Alive, and she knows how to believe in futures. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's all I need. Um, this is going to be the haystack index. Iter enumerate. Okay. Yup, so now that's saying, uh, that's telling us how far far we searched ahead effectively. Um, okay, we are only that. We find, uh, let me search index is equal to zero. Uh, uh, while Output dot um while output dot um 
Mm. You know? Uh, while... Search index is equal to zero. Well, uh, search index is less than uh, output.len. We want to do a search. Uh, if let sum um, out of out index uh feel like this is index and this is off. That's really weird, but okay. What are we doing? Uh, if we found something, otherwise break. Uh, no more matches. Okay. So we're going to do an RLE of the output starting at the search index. Uh, search index plus equals out index. Search index. Uh, print ln match. This should infinitely loop, I think. No. Um, okay. Out index. Because this would be plus equals zero when it finds itself. Right? Right? How does that not have a zero match? Wouldn't it? Four to ten. Okay. You slice it down. Um, haystack index zero. Big pain to debug. So far, this doesn't seem too bad. I'm still implementing the logic. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is, though. I don't know how that's not ever zero. IMO. It means that it's not in a false state, I think. Like, it's not finding it on the first iteration. Which I guess is true. Yeah, it, it can't. It can't ever find it on the first iteration. Um, because it's not latched. Oh, yeah, we're at the end of it. Never mind. Yeah, we advanced to the end of it. The end of the character, so we wouldn't expect it. This is this is returning the index at the end, not the index at the start. This is the false of like the the ending uh ending RLE chunk. Okay, so yeah, then this is just working. Um so now we just have to verify here. But this should be finding all matches, and it should be relatively fast. So this is all the matches for all the digits. Obviously, we'll pre-generate these, like, RLE strings. Um, so we should have all these matches. Now, what we have to do is we have to find... Uh, we have to go forwards until we're in the right slot, uh, which is going forward at least one, or exactly one screen width, right? Let mute depth is equal to zero, uh, or depth is equal to one. Loop. Um, we'll just do this. Loop. Uh, temp is vec new. Put this into temp. I know this code is like really hacky. But we don't really care about the code quality right now. Uh, font, digit, and then this is uh, depth. And then we're going to do a Boolean or a leaf find. Um, and then we're uh, advance output until next line. 
um, let me next line is equal to next line is equal to the uh, out off. Oh, I also need the total accumulative offset here. Uh, which is pixel index. Yep. Two forty three. Um, find offset and out off. There we go. There we go. That's the output. That's the offset of the next thing. So now we want to take the out offset and we want to, actually we do want the find offset minus eight plus, um, 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 um uh, plus width, the width of the line, right? Uh, then we want to do mute on off. Oh, there's got to be a cleaner way to write this code, in my opinion. Um, we go to the next line. So we need to advance to specifically one spot. Um, gotta be, but I don't see. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so we need to search forwards. We have out off out index. Out index, actually, I'm going to make that plus one. Uh, no, it can't be, because that is going to be the false of that Arlie. Yeah, okay, so we have to do this. Um, I think I actually want out off to be uh, pixel index minus length. So the pre the pre index because that matches this one. Um that means that I can now advance from that point. Ah fuck. But if I go this way, because I've already done this math, now I can just know I have to plus one. So um while Uh, out off is less than next line. Out off outputs out index plus one. Out off plus equals this. The length of that? Oh, while out off. <sighs> ah, fuck. Having this in a separate function actually kind of sucks. Oh, I sec index pixel index. It's because I'm accumulating this index in a really weird way and kind of passing it back and forth between these functions, which is really the big issue here, uh, which could be probably avoided. Just haven't really thought through how I'd want to do that better. Um, so the next line is that the find offset minus eight plus width as u size. 
while the output offset a lot of this would be made simpler if we had the absolute values in the RLE stream I think I don't know if that would be faster it'd be more memory of course while the output offset is less than next line and it is at this location the start of the start of the last false block then we're going to search while out off plus yeah i really don't like how i'm doing this um I mean, really, we just want to advance a width, right? To advance is equal to zero. Uh, is equal to width. While to advance is greater than zero. Uh, oops. Uh, while that is equal to the, uh, while that's greater than zero, then to advance, if, uh, output, out index dot one exceeds the to advance, then to advance minus equal uh oops then break uh while to advance is greater than or equal to that right we have to consume at least that much to advance minus equals output out index dot one out index plus equals one okay that should be doing that right to advance 255. Dude, this is sick. Uh, as he says. So we're advancing that index. And I don't think we care about offsets anymore. No, we do. We do. And then we want to do a, a Boolean... Uh, so we advance it one depth or one width, and then we search for this temporary thing, starting at now the out index, which we just computed. If that's non-break... Um, okay, so that's obviously not working. If that is none, are we ever hitting these? Yeah, we do hit them. We do hit them. Well, we have to do the same logic where we, like, add the shit back in. So we could probably get rid of one level of nesting here. Maybe. Maybe. 
this. No match. Then this is going to be... Tink. Right? Two forty seven. Um, there we go. Yep. All right, that makes sense. Okay, and then depth. Uh Woo! Six seven Uh that's that's okay. Okay, I don't understand these. Um Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Out index is an offset. Right? Uh... Let mute out index is equal to out index plus uh, search index. Hey! Let's fucking go! Oops, if depth is eight, then that's a G right there. Oh, beautiful break. Okay, obviously there's gonna be false positives in here. Um. Let me let me expected match is equal to uh find off minus minus eight plus width as you size. Uh, because I want to look for an exact match. <sighs> Expected match. Um, yeah, fuck. Find offset. Oh, not minus eight. 
Why would I minus eight? Because that's what I'm doing on that one. Yeah, fucking Dwombo. Fuck! I thought that was it. Find off. Plus width as you size times depth, which is one. Oh, fuck, and that's offset as well. Okay, I think we're gonna do a, uh, I think it's time to have a, a little base here. Uh-huh. Uh, an II can be base. Or sorry, pixel index can be base. What's II? Uh, matches, okay, yeah, pixel index is base. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I'm starting to like this a lot more. Oh, and we do subtract 8 from there. Okay, sick. Good to know, good to know. Uh, But yeah, now we can preserve the pixel index? Um... Which is doing some weird ass, like, pass through shit. But we're gonna look for a match. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of issues here. Uh, I thought so. Okay, um, yeah, a lot of this is because we're dealing with, like, weird indexes and basically recomputing where we are. Uh, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Search index. Fine. There. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Uh, wait, can I just say this is equal to width then? No. Uh, no. If Mitch plus, that's the fucking offset out off but the problem is we're not even maintaining that on the outside loop Ugh. um yeah that makes sense that we hit it once and never again okay this is big ass um number of bytes advanced number of indoids advanced Let me search off is equal to zero. Uh, search index plus equals uh, out index. Search off plus equals out off. But I have to do the same fucking logic down here. Oh, this code sucks. It's all because I'm doing relative stuff. Hmm. Boolean Arlie start at zero. Well, the search index is less than that. Am I using out off? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to make Mitch. I think we will pump this in here. 
search off is equal to zero. Search off, find off. Uh, this is weird. Because I'm dealing with like a bunch of relatives and absolutes. Okay. Search off plus equals out off. Minus length. Yes. Okay. So now The out index is out index uh, search off plus out index. That's out index? What? Out index plus search index. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Search index. Anywhere I use out off, I have to also add search off. Fucking trash code, chat. Uh, search off is zero. We find this, we got an offset. We have an index of where we are, which is search plus that. Then we come down here. Then we have Mitch plus the out offset because that's based on the out index. We're feeding that through. If that matches our expected location, then we had a hit. Okay, and then this out index. Oh. Uh, uh yep. So this. Oh wait. No, nope. that to advance. Minus equals that, out index plus equals one, out off plus equals output out index dot one. I got a fish for a minute. Just fishing. Just fishing, chat. Just a man and his fish. Okay. 
A fish are getting good. Mmm, yum, yum. Oh, my mouse accuracy is bad. Come on. Give me my last fish. Gimme. Gimme. Oh yeah, come on. Okay, I'm getting, I'm running pretty bad on my fishing. It's not going great here. Starting to hit the desperate spots. One more. Come on. There it is. There it is, chat. We got it. We got all our fish. We're good. Oh, God. I got to look at this code again. Fuck me. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Chat, why do we why do we have to do this? Why do, why do we have to like make this hard? You, you know, not had it been hard. Uh digit depth generate that while Yeah, do you have to advance in the next line? Uh, find it. Really, I should make Boolean RLE find an iterator. And if I make that an iterator, it's a lot easier because I can have this state kind of internal. Uh, a lot of this stuff would make more sense as an iterator, to be honest. And then I could clone the iterator and then resume the iterator. Like, wouldn't that make, like, a lot more sense if we had, like, an iterator or, or something like that so we could iterate over iterations? Um... Yeah, you there. The tide's so much more aware. It's all I want to do. In time out. Bam. Out off, out index, which is the search index, plus the search off, which is zero. And then we add those, and then we do this, and then we go whoop, woo, whoop, woo. Oh, the classic key change. Where? I'm expecting. Oh, that's just fucked. Uh, expect match is find off plus the search off, you fucking dwumbo. Right? Oof. Oof. What is that?
Uh, are they just are they just six off? Uh, uh, wow, A little T Swift, enchanted deep cut of T Swift. Never saw your face. What would be six? Since I need you. Eight. We have the eight here. What have we got? What have we got rid of that eight? <laughs> Still off by six, which it makes sense with Widdith. Okay, what if I do this? Shh, 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 shh. I don't know what the fuck this six is, but let's try this. Forever, one and if you know. Uh, it looks like I'm accumulating eight, maybe or six. If the out off plus match is the expected match, which is search off plus find off. Oh, where's the six, man? Was ah, I knew she was going to go up there. It's fucking obvious. It's sparkling, don't you let it go. Home. Out index plus equals one. Think I'm going to get some sleep? Yeah, I guess I'm going to sleep. No, nah, it's not going to be that long of a stream. I'm probably done once I, once I get this to print anything. Because I'm tired. Alone. Forever. Wondering if you know you please don't be in love with someone else. Temp 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 let's just not do digit one because maybe that's throwing us off. Very first page, not where the story begins. Go your net until I see it again. Why is it six? The fuck? Don't be in love with someone else. Somebody waiting on you. Don't be alone. Search off plus out off. The fuck? Don't you let it go. Fuck it. We're gonna turn this advancement stuff off. See if that's an issue. It shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't be. Forever, what a if you never... Uh, 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 it's in a alone. Depth plus equals one. It's enchanted to meet. Yeah, be in love with 
someone else. But yeah, I think if we change these to iterators, all these problems would like go away instantly. Because uh, it's really that we're like maintaining a state machine in our head for no fucking reason. Uh, which is pretty cope and pretty cringe. Um, once we do an advancement, out plus equals tink and out off plus equals toth. Oh, come on. This is the one. That's the one. Matches right here. Fuck. Uh, expected match, search off, plus the find off of the start, plus width times depth. Ah, that makes sense. That's where we would expect to find them. And we go through here, and we go boop, 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 Way. Tink Toff. What do you mean? These aren't caveman noises. Unga bunga. That's that's a caveman noise. Unga bunga. <laughs> Arly find out index. Search ahead. Uh, why am I off here? What's going on here? We're off by uh uh uh. Why does that number look like good? Is that just? And with 918. Oof, that's not quite one with. What the fuck is that? Um, output, out index, output, out index, output, out index. Chad, I really don't want to do this correctly right now. I just want it to work so I can be like, yeah, it works. And then, and then whatever, you know, search index, search off. Search index, search off, plus equals, plus equals. No more matches. If we found a match, bam, 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 then we go here. Then we take the search index plus the out index. That's the out index. That's the out off. Uh, with respect to the base of output. Uh, oh, what sort of dumb shit are we doing, chat? I mean, this code is garbanzo beans. I do like the, the algorithm and design and stuff. It's really cool. Um, search off plus find off plus width times depth. Find off. Yup. Find off. Yeah, that can't factor that in. So that's zero plus that. And then we do a little whoop de whoop and a whoop whoop. Tank toff Mitch. If Mitch plus out off is the expected match, then we did it. Then we tink and then we toff. And then depth. And then depth. Otherwise, it didn't match, no match, and then that's no sub found. Okay. Because this isn't even the right logic yet. Even if this did work, but wow, how does, how does this not work? The first one hits. What's wrong with the second iteration of this loot depth? Search index plus out index loop. One, two. And that should be one with further. 
right. Oh. Uh, uh, match plus outset offset is equal to expected match. Search off plus find off. Any opinions on some fuzzers? No idea. Have not worked with them. With. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Eight four seven. Okay, what's not getting incremented here, or in what situation is something not getting incremented? Because these are all advances, right? Because we break here, depth break, break. So the only way we loop is through this on a match. We match, we increment that by the right amount. Let's just take this minus this, 943. Exactly the width of the image. So that is the right pixel offset. So, Mitch. Tank toff, Mitch. Mitch plus out off um pixel index minus length right haystack index which is the current so zero and then that would be zero so it would undo that. Um, you mind me. Let's look for four because it's the easy one. Has very few matches. Since I hear you mind me. Oh, that made it to six. With breaking and a bend down, bend down. Empty bottle. Right? Because this should always be assert output out index dot zero is equal to false. Yep. So we're going to search from there, from the end of the previous match. Expected match is the search offset at the base of this. Why is this so fucking hard, chat? Yep, search offset is zero. We're in the first hit. We found the first thing. We're searching through all the lines. Oh, did we just find a false positive? Did we just find a false positive and we just have to go to the next fucking thing? Is that all we have to do? Like, is is that is that the problem? Because we, like, stop the search or something? Because we have this... Uh, 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 you mind me, you. 
Oh, bro, why does everything have to be a different fucking type? Oops. Different style. Four seventy-nine. Two seventy four. Yep. 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 So this is looking for the right things. So somehow I'm just not advancing this correctly sometimes, I would imagine. It's kind of the only thing that makes sense. Not a big deal. Once again, if I had an iterator and I cloned the iterator and then used the cloned iterator to do the sub searches, then I wouldn't have to manually be maintaining all of these fucking accumulative, like, differential offsets and lengths. So it's really just my fault. Um, but I'm going to do that probably off stream once this has any chance of working. Um, length minus needle. Dot one minus eight. It's the match index. So take the pixel index. And that should be the location of the match. Hit. Then we go up to six and we just don't find it. Right? That has to mean we're not finding it here. Could be an RLE bug. No. What? What? Oh, it didn't match the expected match. You're standing where it's my neck on the line. Uh, mod width as you size. Divided by width as you size. Okay, let's see where we're actually hitting that line. Uh, hit. Wait, that looped. And we did a fun wait, what? Wait. Huh? Do that. Hit. Now we're in state six. Here. We go through here. We generate that for line six. We then RLE find at this index. Tink toff match. Uh, temp, yep. And we succeed. We find a match. We find the match. And it is one pixel off. Four fifty. Oh, it's because I have to keep searching. Actually, let's put this back in here. Cool. Okay. Um, that's greater. No. 
Uh, well, it's greater than or equal to subtract off the length of that out index chunk. Advance the out index, advance the out offset. Uh, we want to find 479, 274 is what we want to find. We actually find it at 491, 274. So we like went too far. Um... Minus eight. Yeah, we want to advance one with. Ooh, is the plus eight or the minus eight? End of the match. And this way, it's actually contained in the same bucket. Um. Minus length minus needle plus one. Um, the length this needle. the very end if that's the case then match index so now we wanted a 487 274 and instead we got a 499 okay so we're still like overshooting okay so it's not that so this is overshooting how is this overshooting? To advance, we want to advance a width. Do we want to advance a width minus eight? And then that's a greater than? Hmm. Oh, I don't have this resolution. Yeah, I do need to use my iterator, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, I have to be able to split these RLE chunks. I think the problem is I'm finding a, a match on the same chunk. And this is not doing a match at that specific location. All right. Well, I'm going to make some dinner. I'm hungry. I'm going to call it here. I'm going to probably switch this to iterators offline because it's just a really bad implementation. Um, but I think the logic's actually really cool. I'm just, I don't know. I, I overcommit to this specific implementation. I should have just gone to iterators or something else because I need to maintain multiple offsets. I need to be able to search at a specific offset and I'm trying to like bastardize my search forward thing when I really need like a search at specific. Um, so yeah, there's, it's just not a great design. We kind of went off the deep end, but anyways, See y'all around. I'm going to go uh, make some make some dinner and go to bed. So, see you around.